Alrighty. Hello, everybody. Uh, so today we have a uh, very special stream. Uh, I have got Travis, also known as uh, Disgruntled Elk here, playing, uh, well, I guess that's teaching me the ways of uh, bonking people. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think at this point I'm, I'm Disgruntled Elk, also known as Travis. Yeah, I was going to say maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, somebody who's, who's a, a really big innovator and, in, uh, in this, this deck archetype, um, person who's really been pioneering this build that you've been seeing me play lately, uh, the, the solitude build of the deck. Um, yeah, super excited to get some, uh, get some pointers and, and, uh, hopefully get some good matches in the elk formerly known as Travis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Merc. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so uh, before we get started, usually like to you know talk about some of the stuff we got going on in the deck list, uh, and we do have some interesting stuff going on with this deck list. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's there are some choices. Yeah. Um, so before we started the stream, we were talking a little bit on how you know like why we're playing this and uh, a couple of other things that you had been testing out lately, but haven't exactly panned out the way you were hoping. Um, specifically, splashing some other colors. And uh, <laughs> trying out some new cards from Lord of the Rings that are maybe uh, less expected than Forge New. Um, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like the ring. <laughs> you gave, you gave uh, yeah, the ring a try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was tempted by it, but it, uh, yeah. it did not take my soul. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one you said it ended up being a little bit clunky or whatever, being, you know, awkward with your sagas. Yeah. Um, so you tried some Orcish Bowmasters, really trying to like see if you can get a, a splash color in here with, um, while still being the Solitude build. Um, what what makes that tricky? Do you think is it is it just so, the the various calls taking up land slots or? Yeah, so there there are a few pieces to it, right? So to splash, I think I, I don't count the drums or the mantle because post board usually I trim at least one or two, so I just ignore that those exist. Um, I think the one exception is like haywire might because if you have haywire might then your spring leaf drum always makes green but i'm not splashing that card because i don't think you need it yeah. so there are a couple things one is obviously yeah the amaris calls like you have four lands that are not basic planes that only make white yeah. um the other piece is your mana base is I, I think as it is right here it's completely fine but once you start having amaris calls and fetches and shocks you start dealing like a ton You're of damage. Real, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even the Amarius calls alone paired with just two pain lands, I have found games where like I have chunked myself. Yes. Yeah, I've uh, been tempted to cut the the canopies entirely, but I think like one yeah. to two is fine. Um yeah. the other thing is you definitely so I like to have at least like eleven kind of minimum as the source count. Like if you're running a spell pierce or something like that. And the only way to do that is to have like I think you have to go down to like two basics and you have to cut an ink moth nexus for another colored source. Oh God, that's rough. It's, it's a lot. And it's I, like, at the end of the day, is this fixing anything? And I don't think it is. Yeah. Yeah. That feels like you're, you're doing a lot more damage to the deck. Um, so, so we're sticking with mono white today. However, we are trying a new card. Um, one that I'm going to be honest until you told me the name of the card, I had never heard of this card. <laughs> Um, but it actually looks it looks kind of interesting. Lost a legend. White white instant. Put target non land historic permanent into its owner's library fourth from the top. Yeah. Uh, this has yeah. some interesting targets in the format. Yeah, so every planeswalker, every artifact, um enchantments, but like those are the big yeah. ones. And then of course it can also tag like Yogmoth. Yeah. Um and like Grist. Of course, Grist is a planeswalker, but Right. Yeah. It's a creature everywhere else. So, yeah, right. <laughs> um, and but yeah, being able to tag a Ren or a Teferi or specifically Chalice of the Void, I think are all like very real oh, things. Oh, man, I didn't even think about Chalice. Yeah. That's sick. Oh, well, that makes yeah, sense why now getting off the marches. That, 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 by the way, is one of the things we like has been cut from the sideboard. Um, and I keep hearing there's like some in artifact that's really important to address, right? In the format now. Mm, something. <laughs> I've heard rumblings. What's funny is, uh, not memeing, I've literally only heard rumblings. I have played several leagues now and have yet to see the card put on the stack once, <laughs> which is crazy to me. 
you know, I've been watching like Spike stream and he's been jamming a ton of decks with it. So uh, I've been seeing it more there, but uh, yeah, I have, uh, I've actually yet to encounter it, but yeah, this is, this is something that lets us tuck, uh, tuck the ring. And um, the fact that you're putting it four down seems yeah. like it's a reasonable piece of interaction to it. If it was just like, you know, putting it on top, it's kind of scary being what the, yeah, you know, no. the text of the card is. Yeah. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind, and I, I have, just to be clear, I have played zero reps with this card, but right. I think it's good. Um, if you're playing against most decks in the format, if you tuck something underneath four and they have, like, if they need to hit their land drops, they can either just not fetch for multiple turns or they can throw that card away. Yeah, true. And like you were saying before, you know, you're going to be able to catch some things in response to a fetch and then they're just permanently dealing with it. Um, yep. Exactly. Teferi was a card that you mentioned. It's like, it's an important one to get rid of. Unfortunately, that one, you know, that one's going to come back. But, you know, catching yeah. a Ren, that's one that you're going to see <laughs> followed up by a fetch yeah. land all the time. Um, that's that's the dream. I want to just submerge a Ren like in Legacy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Perfect. So, yeah, we're going to be trying that card out, see if it uh, see if it feels reasonable. Um, it feels like a card that could come in in a lot of spots in the format. So, um <laughs> Cool. simply shuffle it to the top chat yeah says. that's a good plan. that's a good plan um, yeah and i think the ring is going to be a card that shows up more and more as they become more available but yeah the availability is so low right now yeah yeah i've seen the, the last price tag i saw on them was like 130 dollars yeah um, um yeah actually talk about march because you said you you said you were off march even before adding this card yeah, so if you look at the list from uh, from the NRG that I top forward, which by the way I just like punted savagely in the top four multiple times, and I was like, oh, I was maybe if, like, I was, was so really confused bad. what was going on because I was watching, I saw you um, take down scam, and then the stream just kind of like ended, and I was like, where's the top four? <laughs> I was so excited oh, to yeah, watch yeah. it, I didn't know what was happening the next day, so I actually missed the top four matches. Yeah, I wasn't on camera anyway, so no one got oh, to okay. see my my savage punts, and they were Fantastic. savage. Like I was laughing at myself. What, what was the match? Um, I was scam again. Oh, it was scam again. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And there were Fun. there were some things that like I missequenced game one, which cost me. But yeah, there were just some like actual punts game two, and that's fine. Like that's on me. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't sleep well, and my brain broke, and that's <laughs> that's just how it works. <laughs> um, the uh, the list was pretty much this, but these were mana tides, right? For the Correct. most part. Yeah. So I, I cut the marches. Now, like, yeah. back to the actual question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I cut the marches because I was looking at, like, I, I map out my spreadsheet. And, like, if, you, if you're on the Patreon for, like, five bucks a month or whatever, I think four, you get access to, like, my updated list and everything like that. Yep. And I noticed March was only coming in in, like, Saga matchups. So, like, Amulet, Emmer, sometimes Breach decks of variety. And that felt like a holdover from pre-solitude now that you have solitude like i don't think you need march in or the mirror yeah that makes um, sense it's because solitude is so much better because it's free um and so like i'd rather have the manatize because one i thought more people would be playing the ring stuff like that mm -hmm. and i did actually get to manatize back to back um recross the paths out of belcher <laughs> <and> that... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it felt pretty good i'm well, not gonna lie so then what do you do about chalice matchups like you just, you're uh, just, if it's just, they put it on one, you don't have the answer. It's, that's just, yeah. it. you gotta play around it. Uh, like the, the mana tithe is the idea there is if you have mana tithe, you just go like, if you're on the draw, you go land, go, yeah. and then you try to tag it on the way down. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, like, I feel like the chalice decks are usually a really low percentage of the room. So I'm fine to just say, all right, I'm going to give up points in that, in those matchups to pick up points everywhere else. It's usually like blue, white control. And that's already a tough matchup, I feel like. So it's like, yeah, it's rough. I don't know. It's rough for sure. Yeah. Like, I thought about playing maybe Gaddick Teague because it does stop a lot. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, they just. <laughs> Gaddick Teague is sick. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like... I feel like, I feel like current blue, white has just gotten like, is not just going to be called the Gaddick, but. They have yeah, solitude. They just play. They play to fairy in solitude. Yeah, yeah. That sucks for us. Yeah. So. He doesn't do what he used to do. He used to be my nightmare as a blue eye control player. Like just turning off all the sweepers was so brutal. And the fact it does turn off prismatic ending, turns off chalice. That that does actually tag a lot of things, but there are still quite a few answers to it. Turns out leyline binding too, which is nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. True. But fairy in solitude addressing it is a pretty big problem. Yeah, for sure. So. Unfortunate, but uh, that's a that's a nope. If blue white control does become super popular, I blame Spike, and then we'll have to like really get creative. But yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I was watching him play some with the uh, the ring today, and it was. Uh, well, that's the other deck that I play, and I have firmly stated I refuse to buy a playset of rings. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm hoping that doesn't stick and, and doesn't get popular. But um, yeah, the card's real good. Yeah, as it turns out. So I have heard. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's that's kind of what's going on here. We're going to see how uh, Lost the Legend feels and. Uh, and, and play hammer and bomb people, I guess. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I oh, see yeah. chats asking, like they say they don't like, uh, or they like March in the Tron matchups. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's fine. I think, I think I bring it in, in the Tron matchup. It's if it's in my list, but I think now that they have like more interaction kind of along the way, I like it a lot less. Yeah. Yeah. That's so interesting. Like, how to approach that matchup. That's a very relevant thing right now. I've been running into a ton of Tron lately. Uh, yeah. And the answer the is ring. you just try to kill them. It, right, that's what I figured. It's just as fast as yeah. you can go, right? Exactly. And uh, Lost the Legend does up their Karn, so you can re-equip all your stuff if you have a Oh, you true, true. Yeah. Yep, so I'm about it. Hmm. Interesting. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, Stoneforge Mystic Urza Saga hands are nice, but uh, this it is... sucks. But, <laughs> yeah, but the, uh, red, the other five cards... So Not if we were on the play, I mm -hmm. might keep it or just, yeah, Tan does nothing like yeah, so no. much. Nothing. It's super, super slow. Oh yeah. This hand does more. Tan does so much more. Yeah. Tan's quite good. Um, question is, what are we bottoming? What are you right. thinking right now? So the two cards on the right are the two I'm thinking between. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, for yeah, me, it's I mean, either uh, Paladin or Fortune. One of the two equippers. You yeah. want to keep the Solitude in the blind. See, I feel like in the blind, I, I so often just throw the Solitude back. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a simple I'm for Solitude. Six. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah. So, like, well, if we're both like thinking solitude. between a card and Fortune, <laughs> does that mean we should yeah. probably toss the Fortune? <laughs> So the only problem is I have concerns yeah. about getting Metalcraft here. Mm -hmm, for sure. And Forge Anew is a little more resilient, so I think it might be bad. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have, like, the prospect of two, but... We can also, like, play out the hammer on one, and then if they, like, shatter it somehow, then we can also just bring it back, too. Yeah, so. yeah I don't hate that. Ooh. Yeah. If we had that more artifacts, sense. I'd be about it. I like Solitude just because, like, random stuff happens, and I'm like, man, I wish I had a white card. So, like, if they Ragavan us here, that would be bad. But they didn't, so we're fine. Yeah, the bobble. You got it, friend. Bobble. Trigger. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Well, here's the planes. I mean, I think we do just play out the hammer here. Yeah, right? absolutely. Just jam it. Spell yeah. pierce us. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Spell pierce us. But Punch only once, daddy. please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only the one. Oh! <laughs> Call it. <laughs> oh, God. I looked directly into their soul. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that okay. would feel nice to be able to get this back now. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's just like, it, it makes that spell pierce literally do nothing if we resolve the forge. Now. That's so sick. Okay. Sure. We. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, some areas calls a free pitch. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what we do with the Stoneforge Mystic is interesting. That's the question, right? It's yeah. easy Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. Um, just what we're doing. Uh, also... If we want to do something with this. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything with it on our turn. Okay. I was going to say, if we were, we obviously want to do that before the Stoneforge to, to deny sure. them a loop, but. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I don't think it's Cauldra because this thing's just never living. Right. So we could we could just get like a spear um, or we could just get a hammer. It's like really threaten them. Yeah, I, I guess like. The hammer's not... A, well, I'm thinking, like, have a backup hammer in case this doesn't resolve. If this doesn't resolve, then it's also not... <laughs> the other hammer's yeah. also not getting equipped. Um, yes, yeah, screw it. Let's just get the hammer. It's fine. Okay. Get the hammer, so you go. Yep. Hey, Casual, thank you so much for that prime. Ooh. So what's up, Thomas? 23 lands is because of the extra CMC for Forge Anew. Yeah, so 23 lands, like, I just like casting my spells. Yeah. Like, that's it. It's really simple. Also, sometimes, like, right here, we're pitching a land to cast Solitude, potentially, so. Yeah. I like it. I guess, weirdly, we could have grabbed, like, Paradise Mantle to put us real close to just casting Right, Solitude. the hard cast. <laughs> True. Yeah. Sure. 
in a shocking turn of events, our right. Stoneforge Mystic did not survive. Ooh, I like them tapping low here. Yes. Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. Like, the reality is, we are at 20, and they're not doing anything, so we can save the Solitude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my and if God. we just get this Forge into and play, it's, like, really hard, uh, really hard permanent for them to interact with. Yeah, it's, like, just Brazen Borrower sometimes. It. Sick. Same one. Yeah. All right. Interesting. And it's I mean, it's do. just Forge, though, right? <laughs> just Forge yeah. pick up the hammer. <laughs> really, anyways. yeah. Easy it's not like a... I feel like that's not a terrible... Thing. Well, oh. I don't know. We kind of need bodies. Yeah. yeah. Now, like, every sp every creature we draw is just a very real threat. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we... Uh, draw a creature. <laughs> so something I'm considering right now... Yeah, I mean, a creature would be great. Yeah. I think this Amarius call might just be a land this game, and Sigarda Zane might be the pitch if we need to pitch. Okay. Yeah, I mean, with the Forge new in play already, it's basically playing that role, right? So... Yeah. Uh, okay. sure. Yeah. Hopefully we just draw, like, Esper Sentinel so we can go to, like, Esper Sentinel aid, and then if they go to kill it, we can just hammer in response with the Forge Anew and then put the second hammer on it. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Which would be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they tell yeah, me, it would, would be pretty good. good. Right, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, these are the games I like against Mark Type, where they're just, like, not pressuring us, and it's right. funny. Hey, uh okay so yeah is. just lead lead with esper center um are we are we doing anything with this or or i guess no if we're doing the cigar to yeah. thing yeah we don't need to yeah we can just play the sentinel and then play sentinel we, we equip the oh yeah we we need to play the eight we have eight has sure. to get into play first yeah, yeah. play eight does unfortunately give him a connive but oh no yeah we're sequencing like this, of course, because now we have hammer on hammer. Yep. So if they want to respond to this, we get to equip this hammer at instant speed. And then yep. when we go to equip this hammer, we can then play second hammer to protect, you know, their... Exactly. And if they that. fetch here, we just equip in response. Yeah. Opponents realizing that they are in a world of hurt. Because they know about this hammer. Yeah. Um, so now you... Just equip. you just, like, equip, yeah. Yeah. I think you play the Amarius Call tapped here, honestly. Really? Yeah, because I think we're gonna hit another land. Because if they cast any spell, yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna fetch here in response to try to kill it, and we're gonna blow them out. Honestly, we could let them cast the spell. I was gonna say, don't we? Yeah, we, we <laughs> just draw the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fluffy, how are you doing? <laughs> Whoa! Enjoying... Demonic Tutor's giving us a two hundred and fifteen person raid. What? Oh, oh Tutors. What's going on? Opponent. It's okay to accept defeat, opponent. <laughs> oh, they just let it happen. Uh, uh, I just have to marry his call past turn. I was going to say, at that point, we don't. Like, there's no reason so. to cast this now. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, but if we. So if we sentinel first there. Um, the, and they like fetch in response. The problem is now we can't get the aid down and protect with the hammer. I guess we might be able to, but either way, I like, I like the way we sequenced it out now. Yeah. That made sense to me. Right. I'm excited to put a solitude, like a hammer on a solitude. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've yet to, I've yet to get to that. Somebody in the chat said you can, you can instant speed equip with the invoke on the stack. Yes, <laughs> sure. Yes, that is that is a legal play. <laughs> right. They hit us for okay. a little four. All right. Well, I'm just gonna take it back. Yep. It's hmm. a fun one. It's an interesting Ooh. one. Yeah. I kind of like it. What? Like hard, I mean, using that to not now, attack and hard cast uh, this? Now we're just we just attack for eleven. Yeah, it's gotta be right. <laughs> we just keep it. We keep it incredibly simple. Um, yeah, and then we can, if they don't block, I think we might just hammer. Okay, they, they blocked. Do, yeah. Good call. Good call. All right. Yeah, this is fine. Just and so, back. like, one thing to keep in mind that's pretty cool is we can, if we hit a land, of course, or a white yeah. card, we can, um, solitude our own dude if we absolutely need to. True. Like, just gain 11 or 
actually we would probably just gain 21 <laughs> yeah right right that's <laughs> true being then, honest yeah yeah and that, that's in the scenario Ooh. Opening us, giving us a card. Okay. Sure. Yeah. There's the land. That was okay. eight. So if they have another bolt and can connive. Okay. In which case we'd get a chance to at least draw another card. But if they exactly. attack Well no, because they'd have to they have to do the connive first, so Yeah. So we're definitely drawing a card off of the uh the sentinel here as well. So they're passing. Do you want to yeah. just shove a hammer here? Um, probably, yeah. All right. Here goes just their jam the hammer. If they counter it, I'm pretty happy. Right, because then, then we get to draw a card and probably cast the Solitude. Our spell? All right, draw a card. Ooh. Yep. I mean, if we're drawing another land, that's not uh, a bad one to draw. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Sometimes the deck cooperates. <laughs> oh no, my god, no. it could be a hard cast of Mario game. <laughs> so so they only have one card in hand. This has to die. Am I am yeah. I just I mean, shoving and doing this on the upkeep, I guess? I mean we can't really there's not really playing around anything other than doing it before they draw a second card. They already have three mana up, so if they're playing, you know, even yeah, Archmage's think, Charm, they're gonna have it. I so. think we just go saga yep. as solitude. Just main face cast it. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we attack first, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We attack first because we might just solitude the Sentinel here. <laughs> I just reinstall. And we're not doing that, but we're still just attacking for 11, right? Like, right. No world am I not doing that. Yeah, I mean, I guess this way we get to go do it. We can, we could equip here. Yeah. And then that I mean, way, we're casting the, like, yeah. it's better against Ragnar yeah. or whatever. We're casting Solitude 100%. Yeah. Um, if they counter it, we can also draw another Solitude, potentially. But yeah, I mean, if the last two cards in their hand were Counterspell, Counterspell. All right, sweet. Uh, yeah. It is very tempting to uh, that, but... And I would move the hammer to the Solitude. You yeah. would move it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Because if they... I'm just thinking, like, Dash Ragavan or something. I don't know. Like, there's got to be, like, some reason. <laughs> That we want the untapped yeah. thing to have it. Well, it's uh, it can't get Archmage charmed. Is this a bolt? It's a heat. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not being able to get charmed is big. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Now we just get to play the Ornithopter and yeah. move the hammer to that. Ick. Uh. Wait. Do Excuse we get to? Because we it's already. A phase. Yeah, yeah, but we. Oh, already... yeah. No, no, we don't get to. We don't get to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was gonna uh, say it doesn't actually let you. Yeah. Right. Doesn't care if it's resolved or not. Well, with no cards in hand, I'm pretty sure we got them here. Yeah, they don't play char. <laughs> not usually. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dick. Uh oh god, all my settings are all jacked up. <laughs> I I was so I was panicking last night because I was having some kind of weird error where I just kept my it, like magic on like just kept crashing and I was like great right before I've got elk on the screen, um, but I fixed it. But now all my settings are reset. Uh, so not what is a bird feeder? Not I, what is a bird feeder? That like I'm eating the bird. I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, so not a loss loss to legend matchup. I would no, imagine. No. This uh, is a solitude yeah. and a needle and some number of surge. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Um, some people bring in mana tithe. Pe and that was why I actually resisted putting what is a bird. First of all, birds are not real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's get this straight. <laughs> they're robots. <laughs> don't just fly. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so the reason I actually hate mana tithe is yeah. because everyone starts bringing it in in every matchup because everyone casts spells. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how this works. <laughs> it's, it's too much. It's too much. It's good against um, everything. Exactly. It, it says spell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah i like cutting yeah all the ornithopters and a drum for sure yeah prioritizing pretty good these three and then, like, and then do we want to do something for the extra surge i think i think three surge post board is totally fine because like fury is the one exception but other than that surge is just a one for one most of the time like blacksmith skill yeah. is a little bit better because of ee but 
Right. I think uh, I think Surge just being a one for one makes like a three of completely fine. Do you have any kind of a heuristic? A, a, do you use anything to determine whether or not you are cutting Paradise Mantle or Spring Leaf Drum when it comes to cutting one of them? Yeah, so it's vibes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, what, what is it based off of? You know. Uh, yeah. So. A lot of it is, it is understanding like, all right, how will the games play out, the texture of them? So for games where I know I absolutely need to at all times potentially hold up like Surge or whatever, I like the the drum more. Um, but in any matchup that isn't super high interaction, Paradise Mantle is so good. Yeah. Paradise Mantle like, lets you do like more proactive stuff. Is that kind of the and, idea? Like, like the, the potentially generates more mana. Insane. Yeah. yeah. And it like it's something you can fetch for. for so sometimes against Blood Moon decks, I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, That's actually the card I was just about to mention here. Was uh, this hand's interesting? Real bad if they have Blood Moon. Yeah, uh, this, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of close, right? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Esper Sentinel, it's got Saga. It's got stuff to do on you know, straight up to turn three, basically. And we can just we have what like ten basics in the deck, so whatever. Yeah. Like, like, like sometimes you just accept I'm going to be bad against Blood Moon and you move on with your day. I just realized I did not update our deck list real quick. There you go. Uh, I will get the stream decker. <laughs> it's got this uh, <laughs> uh, an interesting deck that we were trying to play yesterday before Magic Online decided it wasn't working. <laughs> Is it uh, interesting as in it was ambitious? It, yeah. It had four rings in it. So. Uh, you know. All right. <laughs> it was it was Ponza, but it did have four rings in it. <laughs> okay, so is, yeah, I mean the likelihood of getting Blood Moon is certainly higher, but they also might is okay. They don't know what they kept. Their hand yeah. could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, as in effing busted. All yeah. right, I'm it was sure. it was a donation from Archon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> This all checks out now. Yeah. <laughs> now you got the full details. Yeah. Everything lines up. Yeah. Like a hammer, basically. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Canopy uh, oh. Esper Sentinel, yeah. Yeah. Like, pretty straightforward. I might also play the Paradise Mantle, honestly. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Because if they spell pierce, then we draw a card. And if yeah, they true. don't, then <laughs> also, it's I... avoids... No, go ahead. When are they going to spell pierce that there? I feel like... <laughs> I mean, yeah. They um, I, I like that this keeps uh, keeps us ahead of a like a ledger shredder or something like that. Oh yeah, smart. Like the the counterpoints, obviously. Well, at some point we could draw a paladin, but we both don't have a paladin or a second white source. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's probably not like a good yeah. spec. Eh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're over here just speaking things into existence. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so how are you thinking this turn goes? Um couple of options um so now paladin is a thing and we have a paradise mantle which is technically a second white source if we want to get that like equipped we could maybe we could play saga get saga online spend a mana equipping here we could have surge up but i don't think holding up surge this turn actually accomplishes all that much um we could try to get you know our artifact count where we want if we're looking towards paladin I don't. I mean, I don't hate th- getting this on something and advancing our mana. Yeah. So a lot of times people get real greedy when you equip a mantle and they go to kill yeah. it. What if we then go we get like, to tap them out and draw a card and surge in response? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. What if we go? What if we go play Saga? Go to equip with Saga, surge mm-hmm. if they go for the removal. I like it. The only downside, I guess, if they have like removal spell pierce or something, could be annoying. But... Then we draw a card. Oh right. yeah. True. True. So I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. It's just pressuring their mana every turn is so good, especially when we have this uh, saga in play. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, do you like oh just man. like playing a ginger brute and attacking or something and still holding up surge by not attacking with sentinel or. Like kind of like going hammer off of the sentinel. And then if they pierce it, we get to forge a new next turn. Okay. Okay. Similar to the first game. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate that. Um. Sure. Yeah, let's just play it. A tapping for red mana was real punt there. This is value. <laughs> <laughs> just leaving value on the table. 
<laughs> oh, that just Sick. resolves. Interesting. Okay. Right. I kind of like just passing. Here. Yeah, I'm not rushing to get that ginger brute in play. I feel like this also like establishes our our you know without having the third land, our two mana to just activate Saga if it gets to that point. Exactly. Uh, like, what do they want to like tap out their entire turn to try to kill the Sentinel? I mean, Blood Moon oh, is a thing, maybe this it. turn. Sure, for sure. Blood Moon could it be wouldn't be my favorite. If they Blood Moon and we draw a land, we could forge a new and equip. I mean, if they Blood Moon and we draw a White Sword or Paladin equip. Yeah, I'm yeah, really... yeah. Any any <laughs> land we get to forge a new equip. If it's a White Source, we get to Paladin equip. Yeah. And we draw a card off the Blood Moon. Oh, God, I love everything. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's not the end of the world. If if they Blood Moon and we miss the land, it could be a little bit tricky, but... Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, would not be my favorite. All right. Looks like a Blood Moon. All right, not a Blood Moon. Cool. Uh, th putting the Paladin on the Sentinel just set us up really well. Um, the Mantle. They might have... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, not the Blood Moon. That wouldn't work, because that's not equipment. Uh, or in our deck. Ooh, okay. Perfect. The other big land. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now, I just want to lean into Saga. I just want to, like, yes. play land, say go, have Surge plus that Saga activation up. 100%. Seems really good. Yep. Opponent, if you're doing nothing, we will also do nothing. God, and these tokens come out as 4-4s four right away. Mm. Real chunky. Yeah. I mean, the first one's a 4-4, four four, I should say, yeah. Sure, yeah. Dress down could be an annoying card here, potentially. So I don't think we're making the second construct for that exact reason. Yeah. I think that's uh, a mistake I make a lot. I think I think that's yeah. a that's a whoopsie I make <laughs> frequently is just being like, well, I just gotta do it, and then they get me. <laughs> it's like make them happen. Like, they always have it. <laughs> like, wait, I didn't have to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone gets real greedy with their sagas, and it's like, I'm over here, I'm like, I'm fine with it just adding mana over two turns and then tutoring right. up something. Right. I did yeah. see the foil redemption. I think we gotta put those on pause uh, while we're... We, when I'm doing guest streams, sometimes it's a little tricky to do some of our little redeems. I'll, I'll, I'll get you one, though, Burn, in, you know, in due time, I promise. How do how do foil redemptions work? I'm not I'm so not, uh... so people they can spend channel points to uh, request. So it, I'm a foil boy. I'm a, I, 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 I'm a big fan of foils. Um, a shiny enjoyer. If you shiny, know. yeah, okay. yeah. Well, you know what? Here, while while our opponent's waiting, here's a fun one. I'll, I'll do one right now. Okay, I know they're doing this, but uh, we I've got a topical one again. for you guys. Uh, here, here's your foil redemption. I just got this in today. Fancy. Very, very go. topical. It's, 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 usually, oh, here we the got part that's getting forged is shiny. Yeah. It's even shinier. It's even shinier. We got another hammer redemption. There you go. There's another hammer foil that just came in today. It's probably actually worth like a chunk of change. Yeah, it was uh, because of <laughs> Commander. <laughs> Anytime a card's expensive for no reason, I'm like, oh, it's a Commander card, I'm sure. They put this on zero. Okay. Yeah, because they can't beat the constructs. Yeah. I love this. I love this so much. Yeah. It unfortunately does catch our Paradise Mantle, but uh, sure. I mean, if they pop it. it right, right. Like, we, get to, we get to play the past priority game, which I'm a yeah, huge fan of. Uh... Okay. So yeah, we make a construct and step easy. Peasy. Oh, the past priority needle game. Oh, I should, I paid an extra life. I needed okay. To that. Oh, good. Exactly. That's what we're doing. Like a thousand percent. Yeah. So now we we just yeah go for it, buddy. Oh, I should have floated though. Whoops. Oh no no! If you float, they get to respond. Oh, true true. But All if right. they respond, then you get to make a construct. Right right right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so now That's a we five. can. I mean, it looks like a counterspell turn, which I feel like we can ram something into that with a Nesper Sentinel in play. Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of just jamming Paladin here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to go Paladin, I think, off Esper Sentinel and a Canopy. Um, I think tapping both Canopies is fine, because that way if they, like, Blood Moon into Furious, we have the white mana up. Ah, okay, interesting. Sure. Uh, so they have provided zero pressure this, this game. Yeah, you, you're pre-commenting because you're going to equip the hammer. To the oh, and, and true. <laughs> Forgot we already was blind to the hammer we already have in play. <laughs> so yeah, this this really forces their hand on a counter spell here. We get to draw. Give me a card. Give me a card. <sighs> hmm. Uh, hmm. 
That's a that's a, that's so. These are both tempting things to just get into play. Maybe maybe this the the cigar is a less so at this stage. So I th- so at this point in the game, I'm asking like, all right, how do we lose, right? Right. And the answer is, if they blow up a needle and then pop EE, we lose the game. So, so I like just, just holding surge. up surge. Yep. Yeah. So just, just hit them for five. A measly yeah. lava axe. Right. And then and you know, Forge a new sitting there uh, to be another equipper in the ranks if we you know exactly. find the, the mana to do so. And they're really incentivized to jam like a blood moon and then pay the tax if they can. All right, yeah. Whatever. You get to draw off your EI. That'd be dope. Sick. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a fun little, yeah. little guy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I see people cutting it and I'm just like, nah. why? <laughs> but it's really good. Don't do that. <laughs> and it pitches to solitude. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best text on it. <laughs> An artifact that pitches to solitude. OP. It looks like a blood moon to me, in which case they're going to get... So- oh, okay. no, still not. I was hoping. I was hoping, man. Yeah. I want to get blood moon so bad. I know, I know. Then they just get <laughs> deaded. Uh, yeah, all right. Not doing anything here. Ooh. That's an interesting draw. That's a pretty fun one. Yeah, it could be another thing to just, like, yank a counterspell out of their hand... You know, and draw another card with Esper Sentinel. Um, oh. I don't. I don't want to just shove Forge a new here. No, no. I like uh, just like we're so far ahead, yeah. and their Fire Islet deals them damage. I like just jamming for five here. Do you? You don't want to cast anything. Not pre combat. Interesting. Okay. I was thinking if we go pre combat and. Yeah, I guess with the Fiery Islet dealing them damage, I, it just being that 11 instead of 10, I was thinking, like, we do want to cast something, they counterspell, we draw, and maybe it's something that makes the construct hit a little bit harder. Um, I just, I don't do think the point. extra point matters. I'd rather hide the information yeah. than jam Stoneforge post. Yeah, that's fair. I also don't even know if I want to go for the Stoneforge. Honestly, just getting another S for sale kind of sounds I, good. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I kind of like, like it. Do you do you yeah. want to go for like aid or giver here as well? We only need the you know. Um, I like sentinel first. I think. Okay. Is then if they like counterspell, we draw two cards. True. I mean, I do. Okay. Consider. <laughs> okay. You got okay, it. buddy. You got it. Plus, paying that life, you know, that's a get him to five. This becoming lethal. They. Oh, I thought I, I thought they went through not paying. I'm yeah. like, they're not even paying. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, well now now I like jamming the uh cigar to Zade, I think. Yeah. Well I mean <laughs> it, it just, like so it might just be the giver, right? Yeah, yeah, the giver to just be like, you have to answer this now or you're dead to this. Yeah, we just go like giver and with then with giver plus surge up, I feel like that's just gonna kill yeah. them. Cause if they go like giant Merc Tide, mm-hmm. we just like They have to attack with it. Oh it. well, if they go giant Merc Tide pre attacking here. And they technically have a blocker of each color. This is true. Depending on what their situation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, honestly, we're feel like wildly far ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I've never drawn so many cards in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Who needs to play blue? Right. Yeah, <laughs> <Esper Sentinels. laughs> Man, between uh, Esper in, Sentinels and Paladins, it's it's crazy how many cards this deck can draw. <laughs> Opponent not popping the EE was like pretty terrible. Not mm-hmm. gonna lie. They they just put a bolt in exile there, mm. which I'm assuming is probably gonna be thrown giver's way. I would presume so. All right. Are we going to combat? And you're gonna be dead. Huge fan. <laughs> we aren't holding up surge. Yeah, we are with the Master yeah. Sentinel here. He is going to giver. We just uh, let it happen. Yeah. yeah, because they can't currently Merc Tide and they have to attack us. Yeah. Okay. All right. The, the construct kills them by itself. So mm-hmm. what, what is it? The RD memes like that's bait. <laughs> sure. OK. Um, so, yeah, now we are they shot whole. Whoa. They're dead. OK, well, now, now, now we, we surge, surge this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll let them surveil. Now we surge. Yeah. They're they're just dead around these. 
actual dead on board, yeah. That's who needs who needs to me. equip a hammer? Not us. Not us. Just attack with a couple of one ones, you know. Just Say. a couple of little guys. Yeah, that's all you need, really. <laughs> Drawing your cards. Right. Pitching a solitude. <laughs> hey, tapping it out. They also drew us cards. They did more. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. We didn't protect Giver because, like, so why do you protect Giver there? How are you? How are? You, how does that make the game any easier to win? I guess so. Like, if we went for like protecting Giver, um, if their follow up play was what it was with a DRC or a Ragavan to block, that still lets us push lethal. I don't know. That's the only thing it's I like, can think of. Like, if we really yeah. want to have that protection to push the damage. Exactly. Um, they also still could have had Fury. Like, so, that's yeah. spooky. Uh, Kings, congratulations on your new truck. Uh, this was just brought to my attention. Uh, here is King's new truck. He's very proud of it. Uh, and we're all proud of you, Kings. <laughs> congratulations. congratulations. There you go. It has been acknowledged. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I'm a pretty, his hand seems great. pretty, pretty bread and butter hand here. Yeah. Uh, Any time. People will ask like, oh, should I keep this hand? I was like, what? I don't know what you want. <laughs> what do you want that's better? Anytime you have one drop into Saga Stoneforge, this deck just feels insane. It's disgusting. Like, it, it, it's, it's just... I, I, that's the thing I always mention when I'm playing control and I'm like, okay, this hand's great unless they go Esper Sentinel Stoneforge off Saga, then I lose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't ever win now. I think my favorite part is if they like counter the hammer, we get to forge into it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I uh, again, I was skeptical on this card to start, but uh, oh, well, it might be. The same it's hat. so good. The card is. Uh, yeah, it's it's is. just been every time I every time I've I've resolved it, it's just been better and better. Ooh, I like that. Oh, actually, okay. I was gonna say oh. maybe we don't play the saga since we can just go Stoneforge into Stoneforge. Oh, fair. Yeah, honestly. I yeah, sorry. I don't think it really a little bit there. No, you're good. I simply don't think it matters that much. I'm gonna get a Colossus Hammer. Yes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Have you seen the uh, the red splash running around with like the goblin engineers? Yes, yes, the gob insane. the goblin engineer for. Well, so in it, it, I, I've been seeing like the idea float around where it's not even like not even a hammer deck, just like an all in on cauldra forge a new deck. A oh, weird with goblin engineers. Like that. Yeah. yeah, if you're playing forge, you should play. Yeah. Hammer anyway, first of all, boo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We were we were just talking about this matchup um, because I was mentioning how uh, this is actually super good for us. Because if they take hammer, we forge a new it back. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if they take forge a new, we hammer them. Yeah, this does put them in a weird spot. Granted, like I mean, if they have force in hand, then whatever. But no, so we can get around force, right? By stone forging it into play, yeah, so we play. Jim well, not if they take stone the forge and the hammer. Yeah, yeah, not if they take. Oh, sure, the, yeah. If they if they take hammer, they take and the hammer. force. Yeah. I, based on how long this is taking, I can't imagine that's what they have. Yeah, um, we we were kind of talking about this matchup. I was like, what do you do in you know? <laughs> we've got these four drainits. Like that, if they have subtlety, you just lose. Especially if you lose the the die roll and you're you're on the draw. Um, because I know last time we were discussing, like, maybe maybe you can play Tormod's Crypt or, or Soul Guides or whatever. You're totally off that idea. That's just not a thing. Yeah. Like, Living End's best draws will beat every deck in the format, and I'm fine right. with that. Right. Like, I'm not trying to beat their best draws. Because even if, you, oh, I got Tormod's Crypt, you're probably not pressuring them. And even if you are, your board got Wrath. So who yeah. cares? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it's kind of just come down to, like, we've got four Draineth. So there's like a ton of them in the board. You know, you can mulligan pretty aggressively towards them um, and hope when they don't have the subtlety, if it sticks, it's a great hate piece. It's a really hard piece for them to deal with. Um, Plus you have the four surge to protect your hand. You have the givers yeah. to protect the drain once it's in play. And you have solitude to like weirdly swing the clock. Right. right. Forge, forge. Um, One of the... 
one of the lines you mentioned was if you have an opening hand where you have a one drop play, but you have surge and draineth in your hand, you just go planes go with the intention of surging grief just to ensure that you can resolve that draineth on two. Exactly. Um, what and, did they? Uh, what did they pitch to the grief? Oh yeah, it's worth uh, probably a living end, right? Yeah. Okay. Deal. It's always a living end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Interesting. Right? Ooh. I like that a lot. Yeah. How do we play this out, though? Are we... Just Saga. But just Saga go? I mean, are we hitting him with a hammer? Crack him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. You want to play the Ginger Brute now? Yeah. Because we can Stoneforge in the hammer to get around Force of Negation. Oh, I see. So play Saga, cast Ginger Brute, active. Okay, 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 cool. So we can... Potentially, like the following turn, go Stone Forge plus um, Grab Hammer. Um, you know, reason obviously, if they. Uh, I mean, if so, if they don't have Cyclers and they living end, it's honestly not that bad for us. But you know, it is what it is. Just crack them. So much of this matchup, I just stopped worrying about. It's like, ah, just try to kill them. Hope yeah, honestly, that feels like that's what you have to do. Like, hope they stumble a little bit. And, and just jam. <laughs> just exactly. jam and, and get them. All, their interactions all zero mana. Zero mana Thoughtseize, zero mana Negate, you know, zero mana everything. So just just go for it. <laughs> yeah, usually I consider game one almost a given that I will lose. Yeah. That's fine. Yep. Um, so yeah, now if they do living end us here, we can... Um, make a construct with a hammer on. Yeah. I wish pretty good. It's not bad. <laughs> and then, like, this is a spear to, like... Exactly. Yeah. That, I was trying to figure out if... One. that That's why I was trying to figure out if we wanted to deploy the Ginger Brute, because it was a haste threat to play after yeah. Living End. An unblockable I'm, haste threat, but... I'm hoping that this game they have to Living End twice. Mm-hmm. Um, might not have to. But yeah, th this is one of the matchups where I do the exception of a couple spots kind of turn my brain off and just like jam yep. ignoring what they could have because you can't play around anything. Right. Usually. No, I make, it makes sense. We did play around force of negation, so we could continue to do that as well. But I think if they had the force of negation, they also would have tagged the aid. So they could have drawn it since then. Mm -hmm. But Yeah. They had drawn a few cards since then. Just, just a couple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So violent outburst would be my guess. Yeah, and unfortunately okay. that play... Oh, we drew the spear. So I think think we just float mana on this thing. We might just be trying... And then we can just like... Uh, so we can play... Ains put in Shadow Spear and attack. Wait, we can do what? What do you say? Can... Uh, so we're, we're going to go... Not putting the planes in off of the uh, Saga. So off of the Saga, we can go get... Um, where we want to get here? I guess let's pull it up. Let's see. Um, so I don't eat. Just like um, anything, yeah. Could be a Colossus Hammer. Put it on the Stone Forge, and then then you threaten lethal, and we get to hold the Ginger Brute back to sacrifice in response to the Living End. Yes, do that. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. so sick. Here we go. That's so, so we're sick. Putting it on the Stone Forge. Yeah, this yeah. is why I like Ginger Brute a lot. <laughs> yeah. And okay, then I would uh, put the Shadow Spear out just to use the mana. Okay. And play the planes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No reason not to. That is nice. I like that line. Yeah. The cookie. The cookie is really fun. Yeah. What's the reason to hold Spear? Yeah. Um, next turn is Trample. I mean, next turn we have Unblockable. We can also just pay two mana, and that's fine. Yeah. Is it? Oh. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. But Might my been whatever fell down. Internet's not out. Hmm. Oh, your oh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm still talking to you. You're good. Yeah. It is down. I now know why it will be back momentarily. Okay. I see it back up now. Do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what happened. I'm gonna put this wall down here. That um, <laughs> that that paneling fell, and next to that paneling is uh, uh, 
my internet. <laughs> <laughs> and it now knocked it, it right out of the socket. <laughs> um, right. It'll be it'll it'll be fixed here in a moment. I'm sure it's just like coming back. I I, I didn't like fully lose internet though. That's weird that I never lost like it's Discord really weird, connection. Yeah. Um, but clearly, I like, grabbed a little bit of a hiccup here. Oh my god. How much power are they putting into play? Is it enough to kill us here? That's that's the concern. I mean, we we did get we also gained life. So twenty three. Right now they have four seven. No. Um. All right. So uh, this is gonna resolve. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see, see if, if they, they got, got the thing. Yeah. They did just cycle there, so they need both a land and a violent outburst to kill us. Otherwise, like. And they can't fetch. And it can't be a shock. Can't fetch. Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be. Yeah. Very few really? lands work here. Yeah. They, they play an island, right? Basic island. Uh, I think so. They also play like potential. I've seen like sunken ruins, though. That's not super common these sure. days. Yeah, I don't think they play sunken ruin because they had to make room for. Yeah. Uh, the new cards. The, the basic, yeah. And. Like, if they're not attacking with all, uh, okay, sure. Oh, so we can't beat that. No, I, th I think it's just like they're planning on cracking the food, but we yeah, do have so a We're just going to float mana here. Yeah. yeah. Float mana. Go get a hammer. Mm -hmm. Hammer. All right. Equip. I even misclick on the wrong creature. Sweet. Yeah. There Ow. we go. We got game one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that like never happens. Oh, it's terrible. But yeah, eat it. like throwing the cookie into your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Oh, it's back. Wait, it's green now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's it's coming through clear. We're good we're now. Getting, uh, okay, we're we're getting recognition on the uh, the ginger brute line. Yes. Yes. Okay. It should. We should be yeah. good now. Technical difficulties got us there. Uh, yeah. I guess it was like physical, technical difficulties, <laughs> um, but we should be good now. It looks like we're all green. Uh, that was a that was a sick line. That I, was I a love sick it. line. I love yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> um, that is not something I would have I would have thought about. Um, okay, so our plan here is getting a drain in play, protecting with surge. Um, yeah. You mentioned That's four the whole plan. That's the whole plan. It's the whole plan. <laughs> like, you're mentioning treating it like an enchantment, basically. Never attacking unless you know it is absolutely safe to do so. Exactly. They have a hard time dealing with this card. They do. Um, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we, it's a seven with Draneth. We're snapping it up. Yeah, and it's got Surge <laughs> to protect on one if we want to do that from grief. Yep. Is th this yeah, one of those situations where you would do that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And it's great because you just go bolt myself pass, and they're like, "What the hell?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because oftentimes, greet like and look at our living end place. Nope, we leave the giver. Giver can yeah. wait. Yeah, it's all these tempting things to like. I mean, between aid and giver, these are two very tempting one drops to play here. But you're saying, don't bother. Surge protecting the grief. They're drawing two cards potentially between now and like just because they didn't have it on turn one. You know exactly. Um, Potentially, also, people like will sometimes just wait, grief you on two because they don't know to play around surge yet. Yeah. Um, just trying to have is, their highest chance to hit the drain if they get top deck. If that makes sense. Yes, exactly. And hopefully we find a non saga land so they can't. Like I don't think they would, force. but they can't uh, force of vigor. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So now Damn. it's just yeah. a subtlety check, I guess. Yeah. Well, a force and a subtlety check. Okay. It's just like, it's really hard to have the discipline as them to like pull the trigger on a force of vigor on a single Urza saga. Mm -hmm. oh. This is also the reason I like solitude because if they did happen to um, subtlety here, we could solitude the subtlety in response and then their living end isn't even very good. Hmm. True. Yeah. Because we... They, they gain a bunch of life, but then, like... Okay, so they're trying to find one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the joke is, if we do get to untap, I think we're actually favored to just win. Ooh. <laughs> okay. They, they could borrow her. They, they could, they could. They could but if, if we get to that white mana... Exactly. Right. Oh, come on. Dude, don't, be don't, you, can, you can cycle. You can cycle. 
Oh, they don't even. I talk. don't think. Yeah. <laughs> no, if they if they had a cycler, they would have already done. It. Oh, okay. It's all offhand. Sure. Yeah. That one checks out. All right. Do it. And now the good news is, right? They can't bounce it and combo. Mm-hmm. They're doing some main phase yeah. cycling here. Right, give me a white source. Oh, be Kingdom nice. for a white source. How about a white card? All right. Yeah. Um, we pass. We, well, we attack, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a safe attack. All right. And this, it's hard because this is like, you want to jam things, but they, very hard for them to win with a Dranith in play. Yeah. Also, um, Dead Gone. I don't think Living End often plays Dead Gone, right? I, 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 that's more Rhinos. Sometimes. Sometimes. Just weird. Um, and now we do get a white source off the saga, so that's nice. Oh, true. All right. Just casting a, casting a big idiot. That's fine. Flash and Endurance. That's why we were okay with doing that attack there. They only had two mana up. If they had three, we wouldn't have attacked. Absolutely not. Yeah, man. If we had hit a white source, we could have also just... Would nah, we huge. would have played aid. Yeah, we just played the giver. Yeah. There's a vigor. Hmm. Um, I mean, I'm down to surge. I was going to say, does that get the surge out? Yeah, I, think I think so. so. They're at 10. Yeah. Now, depending ten. on what we draw, we potentially just kill them. Yes. Uh, might be a bit ambitious to go for, but... Uh. That tells me they probably have another Force of Vigor. I guess they would have... Nah. No. Draw the Ooh. drum. Okay. Well, we get to float mana. Mana's cool. Yeah, float mana, get a hammer. Um, Float mana, get a hammer. That is probably correct. And then now we probably want to get the giver. Yeah, and then we'll we'll get the giver down. I go drum. Um, so, question is... Do we do you want to go drum? Her and Stoneforge Mystic? Or I guess uh, give her and aid? Yeah, just give her aid, I think. Even though the aid doesn't do all that much, I still think we do it. Do we... Yeah, so we, we can lead with drum, then. Yeah, sure. lead drum. I wonder if we lead... Nah. nah. I think you can lead, uh, you can lead aid. Yeah. I guess if we lead giver, then we could have tapped giver and gotten in for a damage, but... Because yeah. Have to give her for the mana. Yeah. No, that would have definitely been correct. Yeah. Oh. All right. Missed a point. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We can't beat Fury though. Here, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't th do they play Fury now because of the old? Um, sometimes. I haven't sometimes. seen that either. I I gotta update my. Uh, <laughs> I guess I, mean, I gotta update my living. It's, in. it's in flux right now. People are trying different things, so it's yeah. it's hard to say, right? Our shields down here again. They do need Fland plus interaction spell plus cascade spell, which okay. This I am fine with. Deal. All right. Yeah. I'm not happy about it. But. No, but it but it it's not <laughs> winning them the game, you know. Exactly. And if we untap um, Gibber they... Drainith, then I'm feeling pretty safe. Yeah. What did they uh? Would they pitch? Oh yeah. Good. Um. Outburst. Uh, yep. Sure. Okay. Yeah. You you got it. We have moved to this point of the game. Uh, land. All right. I um, mean, we just play Cigar to Zade, right? And say go. I think so. Makes Hammer off the yeah. top. A good draw. This is another reason I play 23 lands. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Casting spells is pretty awesome. Yeah. If, uh, okay. Sure. Sure. Honestly, I don't really care. Yeah, I feel, I mean, it's, yeah, I'm trying to think, yeah. like, do they just take Stoneforge here because it's a, like a slow hammer? They the, could the take problem Paladin, with taking but we have no Stoneforge. <laughs> problem with taking Stoneforge is they don't want to put a creature in the yard like that. Hmm. I guess, yeah, they, I mean, they could take Forge anew, I guess, I, I don't know. Yeah, they, I, don't, I have no idea, that, to be honest. Okay. They do take a Stoneforge. Uh, all right. Just being the slow hammer that, you know, we eventually get to equip with three RZ, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Got dreams. I was hoping they didn't just, like, immediately slam another attacker. Right. Yeah, I mean, we can block reasonably. 
Yeah, we need to. We need. We do need to find a land here. They have one card in hand. I have twenty-one lands left in the deck, so pretty yeah. good. I mean, I feel like we Honest, have a, we have a lot of good draws. Like, I'll take a solitude. Yeah, or, that's like, what I'm saying. We have like a lot of good draws. That isn't one of them. Not great. <laughs> that Admittedly, one, not great. That one is not ideal. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think I think we get in for, for I think here. Yeah, they, I mean, yes, they could have endurance here. We can protect it. They only have one card in hand. I think it's fine. Yeah, two. Yeah, Luris <laughs> is a little different though. Luris is straight cheating. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you also like your curve was so much lower in that deck. Mm -hmm. Like four drums, four Memnite, four Ornithopter. You were playing Hammer at that point, right? Uh, yeah, some. I had I had just gotten into competitive modern right around MH two. Oh, so have you always been on Hammer? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I was gonna ask what what your deck was before this. Uh, it was Legacy Death and Taxes. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, you you got it. All right, any land in the deck, literally yeah, any much. of them, <laughs> or Hammer. I mean, I'll take a Hammer. Like I will take a Hammer. You know, I mean, yes, the last card in their hand could feasibly be a force of negation that they could hard cast or something. But yeah. I mean, usually they have to trim some, if not all the force of negations because they're bringing in other pitch spells. Yeah, I guess it could be a force. Off here as well. OK, it's a very it's slow. Land. Like land. <laughs> <laughs> it's a right. really awkward, very slow land. Right. Uh, I mean, well, I'm going to play it and I'm going to attack. Yep. <laughs> Sounds right. Yep. yep. What a weird game. I kind of love it, but what a weird game. Well, yeah. It, in the, you know what? We got game one, you know, so I'm already feeling pretty good. Exactly. We, we can have a weird game, too, you know? Weird games are my favorite because it's like nothing makes sense. Neither deck did its thing. And we're <laughs> just attacking with, like, gray ogres. Right. Oh, Striper of Run to cost seven. I was like, why didn't they cast it? Well, they can't, Travis. That's a paper magic <laughs> only play. That, yeah, that would be called cheating. <laughs> Ooh, ambitious. What is it? What is the trigger on this? Whenever you, oh, yeah. It's scry, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll also take an Ink Moth. Ink Moth would be cool. sick. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, well, we probably should be paying attention to what they are actually doing with these scries. Um, that, they have been matter. bottoms. Yeah, true. Yeah, well, it's not going to change our play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, no, That's a good point. <laughs> like, like, straight up, if... That's like, I don't even know. Right. Land. Yeah, land we get to just slam Forge anew if we want. It does mean we have to go, like, off Giver to do so, but... Um... I mean, is that even... also just... We would probably just tap the Draneth, right? Oh. Oh, and... Yeah, I guess, yeah. Unless we draw a canopy land, and then that's a different story. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Right. Let's let's not do that. Yeah. Let's draw any. Okay. So I'm gonna Just... cast hammer. I'm gonna put it on yeah. Draineth, and I think that's I our th whole game plan. I think we attack first, right? Yeah. yeah. Ju it. Just with Draineth, though, right? Yes. Yes. Correct. Well. Yeah. <laughs> and here's a hammer. Uh, do you got a force or either? Either force the fact they clear. stopped at four makes me think that you know they do have a force, but also just have a couple lands in their hand that would also check out. They could. That'd be cool. Be I super would, down. I would prefer that. Yeah. A huge fan. Yeah. Have you considered dying to us drawing <laughs> hammer? <laughs> like. Would, would you kindly die to a yeah. hammer? <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some hammer? Oh, besage you. Oh, okay. This is interesting okay. because this gives us the land and we have Paladin. Oh. So, okay. sure. Yeah, I mean, let this happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I, I guess we're afraid of Outburst. I can't beat it. about it, <laughs> we yeah. Can, we continue to not beat anything. Yeah. We get our land here, we can, I mean, we can tap out the giver if we want and just get Paladin in play now to give us, like, the best chance to get under a subtlety. I think that's correct, yeah. And just suit up. I I concur with all this, all this doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So maybe we were supposed to hammer first. I guess that incentive actually like I think because then we get to hold aid, up giver. Tagging the aid was, I think, the wrong play regardless because yeah. they knew about the paladin, right? Yeah, so yeah. we just jam the paladin here. Yeah, this seems bad. Um, I'm just gonna throw yeah. Draineth and paladin, I guess. I think you, yeah, yeah. Put it on that. Put it on that. Call it a day. Yeah. And All say right. you gotta have that thing that kills us, and if you don't, uh, I, well, don't. No, just Ooh. that. How about just that? <laughs> I would prefer that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Imagine if we had drawn a solitude. I know. <laughs> like just, I know. Just in twelve. Mm. I'm Old. fully puckered right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing, right? I mean, I think we would be dead if they had the outburst. Like, I think we're yes. already dead. You know. Yeah. We we are at the stage of the game where, in paper, I'm just like. Flipping anything that kills you. Yeah. I'm not slow rolling. Because right? you can't play around anything. I can't play around anything. Right. It's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think hitting the Sigarda's aid was a pretty bad line because we wouldn't have Metalcraft. Right, yeah, if they, if they just hit the hammer there, right. Hit the, hit the active hammer, the hammer that's about to go on, and then that kind of hits us on both fronts. Foundation uh, okay. yeah. breaker. Sure. You, you got it. Yeah, that is just fine, right? Absolutely. I don't I don't care. They can't attack now. And then we can go forge a new it back into play, <laughs> send with two lethal threats, and they have to double jump. Yeah. If we want. Depending on, you know, what happens exactly. here. Sure. Okay. You got it, buddy. And if they if they do attack, we just probe rain and kill them, presumably. Yeah. Maybe we'll find okay. a untapped land. We did. There we go. All right, yeah. Jam the thing. <laughs> like very, and we'll also draw a card. Maybe we'll draw a solitude. Like, super wrap it up. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yes. I would like to get back this hammer. I would like to draw a card. And we just attack with everything, yes, I think. I would like one, one. to... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we have the paladin. This. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah, we yeah. just send with everything. We just send with everything, and we can move all yeah. the hammers at instant speed. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have not had, like, I haven't gotten to play with this card that much yet, so I have not had it come up where I get to move a thing in combat post no block. All right, cool. Move it there. Uh, equip zero over here. 2-0 living end? 2-0 living end? <laughs> Get out of here, living end. Who oh, cares? my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. That was really nice. There we um, go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And they, I mean, they had that. Dude, that was through them. They forced us. They besaged us. us. They griefed us. Like. They forced us twice, right? Yeah. They forced us twice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still won that. That's insane. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I mean, so that was, that's kind of what I was talking about, where it's like, Draineth is an insane hate piece that is really hard for them to deal with. It's just hard to initially get it into play, I feel like. That was the issue I was running into when I was on, like, even on the blue splash, like, you know, prior to Surge coming out. It's like, all right, yeah. I have a hate bear that they immediately grief. Right. Every fucking game. Every game, yeah. So it, they, it, that's the challenging part, but they are they are sticky and they are you know they are powerful hate pieces. It's just yeah, getting them in there is pretty tough. We we had a pretty anemic draw and we still got there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean look at look what our mana situation was. It, like we drew that cauldra. We had a lot of just like ass cards in our hand there. Um, so. Uh, it is it is uh, Elk's build, yeah. We're we're he has not actually played with this card yet, but uh, Euro reps. Yeah, this is this is us giving it a try. Um, it has yet to come in, <laughs> but we've played against Murktide and Living End, so not uh, not really not the target matchups. demographics. Yeah, I mean March isn't coming in there anyway, so. Yeah. Ooh. that was exciting. <laughs> Cookie. Cookie Monster, let's go. Dude, that was two sick games. Like, that was an insane game one. I loved that line. That Ginger Brew line was so clean. Um, oh, I love it. Yeah. Like, once yeah, once really you nice. do it once, you're just like, all right, I'm ready. I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to yeah. do it. Yep. That's just in my brain now. I, I, I've i got this. I've got this tool now. 
Um, hmm. It's got an equipper and it's got the, you know, a slow it's hammer. Still pretty good. Like, it's close. Mm-hmm. You could mulligan. I think we can keep. My gut says I'm keeping this. I think I'm fine with this. Yeah, uh, like the, and then, the and signal then, into aid saga is really good. Yeah. Um, and if if they are like a living end, you know, game one we're dead anyway. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a lot of a uh, lot of spire bluff canal decks right now. Have been. Oh, that's not a great Perfect. draw. All right, let's do it. <laughs> uh, so you like Esper Sentinel here, right? Because yeah. of Ragavan. A snap block. Okay, because the the only thing I, I think about is like this is the window to get the aid down f- to pair with our saga under yeah. you know spell pierce, but you do want to just slam it. Yeah. I just because keep in mind like if they kill the sentinel and then get the monkey in, um, like they're using probably all of their mana. Okay, yeah. Snap well, block. I guess they'll have the treasure, right? But yeah. but if they're using the treasure, I'm like okay with that as well. Yeah. Just just use all use all our mana. It is. It is great, but we can... Yeah, okay. Hmm, this Sometimes. is great. Now we get to go Urza Saga aid. Exactly. And the other piece is if the Sentinel doesn't die, right? So, like, mm-hmm. if they just don't attack or whatever. Um, basically, if they don't have a threat in play, they have to play a threat or they're going to lose. Weirdly, we have the better long game. Huh. Like, usually against them, if they aren't doing anything, and I have, like, a Saga, I will also do nothing. Right, right, right. Yeah, Saga does give you, like, crazy grind games. It's insane. It's so dumb. Dude, I love these, like, be, like the fearless getting to jam hammers into spell pierce against them with the with Forge and New Tech. Like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. So, okay, so you 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 like Saga. Getting a hammer, yeah. Saga, Stoneforge, hammer. And again, that does leave it, leave us with our Sargardus aid in hand and does make it a little bit awkward. Exactly. With constructs and all that stuff, but but you do just want to you do just want to jam. Yeah, I th- I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah. It was either Saga Stoneforge Go Grab Hammer or it was Plains, uh, Plains, probably still Stoneforge. Um, so there w- there was no scenario that it was Saga Sigardizade to just set up like constructs and getting a hammer from the Saga. Equip? Yeah, I don't think so because I want to use all my mana. Okay, big fair. Piece. See, that's what I would have done. So that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I totally would have um, went for that line. So they might not kill the Stone Forge here. Yeah, probably will, but they might not. And if they don't, we they just run them over with a cauldron. Yeah, that's the that is one of my favorite little mini games of I got a hammer, but I could have cauldron in my hand. <laughs> it is the cauldron shell game, as it yep. were. Yep. Oh man, okay. they, they might not. And the best part is we lead, we lead with aid here too. Yep, yep. I think we actually lead with aid. Oh well. <laughs> uh, aid I mean, is our leading card. With, I, I think you lead with we, aid. We lead, yeah, planes aid for sure. Lead aid around spell pierce. Well, if they spell pierce, just galdr them. No, no, no. Like, I would let that resolve, but I, like, oh, I want them to think they can't spell Pierce. You know what I mean? No. Um, okay. okay. And now I'm just cauldroning anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. But I will say, we are going to target the Stone Forge, and if they let it happen, we're going to let the germ die. Is that to play around Archmage's Charm? Yes. Because they straight cannot... Oh, okay. Well, we sequenced it wrong. Oh, fine. shit. Okay. That's my bad. Well, good. Oh, so you have to... I didn't even realize you needed to sequence that differently. Yeah, because living weapon, not optional. Cigar is 8 is. Um, okay. Well, they're killing the Stone Forge anyway. <laughs> okay. So a, a moot point, I guess. But but okay. Okay. So you have to you have to do the Cigar is 8 targeting first. Boom. I will attack you. Uh, pew pew and barbecues yeah like yeah, yeah. thing to reanimate cauldrons is and disgusting then, and i've and then I've yet free to free uh hammer coming off here under counter spell another hammer in our hand off counter yeah this is a this is a good spot it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah sure. resolves you can have your robot <laughs> oh <laughs> Interesting. Sure. Interesting. Okay. Well, they're dead. Yeah. 
They're, they're dead. <laughs> That's all cool. So it, you're dead. <laughs> like, they're literally dead on board. Can you beat... Well, because so, so they get a treasure. So they are going to have, like, a mana to interact, but double hammer, that's not doing anything. Well, I don't think we're even making a construct at this point. No, yeah, no. I'm just getting, I'm just floating mana getting a hammer. Well, yeah. And that's, well, that's really it, I guess. But. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, it's like, oh, Shadow Spear, doesn't matter. They're going to take 25 trample damage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If they unsummon us, good beats. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just, um, I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Agreed, opponent. <laughs> um, we came to the same conclusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so we... Uh, what did we do last time? We went Ornithopters. Ornithopters draw. Yeah. Yeah, the, the classic, the classic five out. Um, <laughs> yeah, the staple diet. Oops. It's like, yeah, and just... Uh, oh, a needle. Do just like two this. surges, yeah. 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 yeah, I know. I find like this is the plan like ninety percent of the time. <laughs> it, is, it is. It really is. Like that's one of the things I do really like about this deck. It's one of the few decks where the out is so so much easier than it normally is. Um, it's very yeah, clean. It's very clean. Um, Take out the cards that don't do anything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And put in multi-format all-star solitude. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is a lot of sagas. If they don't have Blood Moon, this probably I, beats them. Yeah. I, if they don't have Blood Moon, they cannot. Like, there are very few hands that beat this. I'm snapping it off. Really? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in. All right. Yeah, it, literally, it's it, this is a Blood Moon or Bust. Well, okay, Dress Down is another card but, that. Like, when did they dress down? Blood After the second construct? After the fourth? Yeah, one? true. <laughs> Okay, so I, I think they need, to, in order for them to beat this, they need one of those very powerful cards backed up by, like, quick pressure. Yeah. Oh, hey. my God. That's great. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to go Plains S for Sentinel now. That is correct. Yeah. Concur. That was uh, that was a good good top of the deck. That's oh, the we, other thing, right? We have good cards to draw. Yeah. <laughs> and we're actually, like, That's like I'm not happy the if they Blood Moon us, but... There, uh, that. there is a draw step too. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, no bobble to follow it up. No. Well, well, I guess yeah, you don't. They didn't want them. us to draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess bobble's not great there. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay, so playing a saga. Are you deploying a hammer here? I mean, I'm, I'm not playing out draw because I don't want them to trigger. Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. But I like drum I like is great. Drum, though. Yeah. We'll draw a cigar to say that'd be, that'd be not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The early pressure or the blood boon. Those are the only two things that I'm scared of with this hand. Pew pew. Absolutely right. Yeah. It's like if they went like DRC oh. into DRC bolt delirium, like, all right, that's a problem. Nothing go. Uh, hey, ink moth here. So, I think we, I think we ink moth and shadow spear. Yeah, because we want to, we want to stagger. Um, actually, I, I think it's ink moth plus hammer. I want to do it off yeah. of tapping the Esper Sentinel. I, I want to make sure um, that I'm able to construct right. Yeah, I concur. I concur. Like it, it does open us up to a dash ragavan, but but we can also just make a construct and block with a four. four. Right, right, right. <laughs> and we we don't have any means of like protecting this. So if they go to kill this, and then we can't make construct exactly. when we want to. So you want to go hammer over. Yeah. Okay. That, that is I like, care more about the spear surviving. Oh, if like their plan is EE, -E, then spear sticking around is way more important. Yeah, spear is the, the fair construct game artifact, so. God. Opponent. Oof. Cap <laughs> uh, seven, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Pass him again. Just, just nothing. Love it. Just nothing at all. I uh, constructed it. Yeah. And what do you... Okay, so Dress Down is the card on my radar here. My answer is, who cares? So you are you are making a construct? Yes, because we are going to make two more constructs the and next turn. Two more, yeah. Yep. Exactly. And you know what we're getting, right? I was going to go Needle Name EE. -E. A million percent. Absolutely. Okay. Good call. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to close their outs to beating sagas. 
That's um, exactly what you want to do. Get another saga going. Uh, let's attack yeah. first. But, well, so you want to you want to sandbag? Well, we don't need to sandbag this as much now that we have this. So we could counter it, right? And we draw a card. Well, yeah, fuck it. Saga, saga, shadow, spear, jam, like yeah. whatever. <laughs> I'm about it. I'm I guess they could it. pierce it. Okay. But like, deal, I don't. I, I don't guess. care. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. They pierce it. Whatever. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna draw forge anew. <laughs> like people, are like, how do you draw so well? It's like, well, you put it on your vision board. Yeah. <laughs> That's the secret. I like, I don't know. They're like nowhere near murking. Like, it, this just feels if really they, good. If they murk tide, we can cast solitude for five mana. <laughs> well, yeah, true, yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, people are like, oh, but if you don't have a hammer, then the life gain from solitude matters. Like, we are attacking for 13 points of damage. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. Nothing okay. matters. Still nothing here? They're pausing on attack. Okay. They're like, ah, oh, should okay. I chip in? This could be Blood Moon. Yeah, this looks like Blood Moon. Which, okay, not Blood Moon. I was going to say, if it is Blood Moon, then, like, we are chunking them. Wow, they're tapping down to one here. This means no dress down either here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like this is just putting us in a great spot. So, so if, we, if we play Hammer... Yep. Puts us up to seven artifacts and then eight if we want can to make eight, nine, because we can tap the construct to animate the ink moth. Yeah. And then So if we attack with, with everything, we die. So, well, yeah, okay, but this is probably Bolter Heat, right? Which kills the Esper so, Sentinel, which takes off. Sure, so they go to one. Yeah, and lose their I think board. I'm okay with that, yeah. Okay. Could also just. My only thoughts land. are this is the one thing that survives a dress down, I guess. But. Yeah, but then we could cast solitude. We could also just go like land, cast solitude, attack with two giant constructs. It's probably better. Giving up the ability to make another construct here. Yeah. Um, Considering so you, we have another saga, I think it's correct. You want to do it off canopy? Yeah. Okay. So just straight up like main phase this. I think so. Tapping Esper Sentinel. Absolutely. I'm just making sure I don't fucking the student activate the any of these. <laughs> yeah. All right. What you got, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. God, I just, I love that in all of these, like, so many of these, uh, you know, specific, either new cards, like, with Forge New or Solitude specific build cards, they're all shining. Like, this has been great. <laughs> this has been an awesome week. It's, it's, the, the, every time I'm like, all right, I try a different build. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going back to solitude. So, so my what my experience has been because I I've like my hammer experience has been very very heavily skewed towards blue white. I did a little bit of bant where I was splashing for haywire might, but I was really focusing on blue white. I really liked having Lavinia and spell pierce. Um, I tried a league of this. It went poorly, and I was like, eh, meh. Went back to blue white and immediately missed solitude. That was like the, that was the big that was the big difference where like I was like all right whatever that blue white league or that white league didn't go great I'm gonna go I'm gonna try a blue white league I got paired into the the particular matchup that hit me with it was um, scales and I was like oh my god like if I just had this zero mana swords to plowshares I'm dominating this matchup um, but uh, yeah so I, I I've been like totally sold on this on this white build it, it took me a bit to like get into it but. Uh, yeah, I mean, yep. this is what I have sleeved up in paper now. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm glad you like it. Um, yeah. It's it's a build that I definitely like. I was like, because I tried the uh, the Shining Shoal Humans deck. I'm like, oh, this mm -hmm. is sick. And I played. I'm like, how can we support solitude? Wait, and I bet we could just put a Marius. Oh, call. is that what inspired this? Was that was that Humans deck? Okay, I didn't know that. Because I was like, well, solitude super sick even in this deck. Then I was like, man, I want removal spells, but like March kind of sucks. Path super sucks. Yeah. Um, and it's like all these cards. And my buddy was like, oh, could we play Solitude? And I was like, probably. And so it's like we just jam the four Marius calls, and all of a sudden you have like just kind of work twenty seven white cards or something stupid. Yeah. And then the side effect, of course, is you're insane against Mill now. <laughs> yeah, you just get it, which is great because that was always such a 
dog matchup. Like, unwinnable. It, unwinnable. It, it was so bad. And now all of a sudden you have like 48 more CMC in your deck or something like that, you know, <laughs> that it just like drastically changes it. The Tasha's hideous yeah. laughter just does not one shot KO you. Um, against Mill the other day, they Tasha me like 12 cards into the exile zone and then they played in snaring bridge and i had two ornithopters going with a <laughs> forge anew and a hammer and they just died sick oh that's so sick because you can just keep attacking and passing them back that's awesome yep, yep. uh very cool uh it's great though yeah yeah i'm gonna keep this hope they force of negation the cigar to aid. <laughs> Okay, Swamp passed. However, they did play my favorite Swamp in the game. It's a good Swamp. 7th Edition. 7th Edition one. is my favorite set. And, uh, yeah. you know, I, I, I try to collect cards from it where I can and everything. I, I love this set. That is the best Swamp. Easy. Um, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go plain Cigar to Zade. My favorite part is if they, like, Thought Seize Us. What are they taking? Swamp. Yeah. They take Hammer. I'm wondering, I, I mean, I see Basic Swamp, I think Scam. I see Second Basic Swamp, I think I am confused. I know Black Vampires, clearly. It could be. It could be. <laughs> someone mentioned it in chat. I'm like, ah, yeah. yes. I, I, well, it's the someone that, uh, you know, makes me uh, play it all the time. Yeah. Um, hmm. Could be Coffers. Be. So, you this... definitely have a removal spell. Like, a thousand percent, right? Okay. So... Yeah. I think we just play Ink Moth and pass. Mm -hmm. Make them burn more mana. Yeah. And then we literally are threatening lethal. And if they, uh, yeah, if they ever tap out. I love that Definitely. Forge Anew works. Ooh. Militian field. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Fair enough. Confirming is field. Or not is field. Is, is coffers, most likely. Yeah. Coffers, they, yeah. they play eight of them. Yeah. Huh. This is th I have found this matchup to be kind of tough. They play, oh, are they just going for it? They Ooh. they play a lot of fatal pushes, um, you know, so for fatal I'm for blunders. To, to think, for I mean, putting the hammer in. I don't think we're putting the hammer in. Yeah, I, I mean, we we're just probably wanna, just going pure steel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna flip the hammer, whatever. But um, yeah, it's probably just get planes. Play planes, play paladin, say go. I guess. I think so. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Okay. So I like Urza's Saga and Pure Steel Paladin. Yeah. And pass. Yeah. I think this is gonna get pushed, but I mean that's fine. And if it does, then. Uh... Like, do you hammer to draw a card? Yeah, uh, and I think the answer is probably yes, but it doesn't Cause... matter. So. Wow, well, they didn't have it. I mean, it could be thirst, I guess. Still could be a, a thing, but but you or whatever. Probably is that here. Yeah. Okay. So I think we let this go. Okay. You sure? Do we? Yeah, because because next turn we can make a construct, throw a hammer on it. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then construct hammer again. Yeah. yeah. We can go yeah. like. Oh, God damn. Oh my God. Uh. I, I do. I, I swear. So there's there's a there's this whole thing on this stream about like this deck sure. is my curse. I lose it every time I play against it. Every time I try it, I get clean swept. I can't win with it. I can't win against it. I like Evan plus mono black equals Evan loses. It doesn't matter what side of the table I'm on. <laughs> oh man, the hard cast uh, the Marius call game maybe. All right, let's do it. Um, Is I'm trying to think, think of like the, just, the pieces of interaction that they like, have. This is like Planes Forge a new pass, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't think they mess with me. I don't, I don't think and they... if they thought sees us, we can just flash in the hammer. Who cares? Yeah. Yep. All right. I think there are creatures in this deck, right? We didn't board those out? I Game one. don't think so. I don't remember taking them out. Hey, what's up, yeah. Don? How you doing? Yeah. I, I hope we didn't. I don't love that. Okay. Uh, yeah, not a huge fan. No. We do have the aid, I guess. So. Yeah. so like we're we're not dead. We just need to find a dude. Yeah. Probably getting the ring. Oh, this could be the first time I see the ring get cast. This it's could not, be it. Uh, it's not a fun experience, I will tell you. <laughs> oh, they got into your explosives. Oh. That's not uh, cool. Sure. Yeah. But ooh. Yeah. That's Okay. That's yeah. interesting. Just, I mean, we just do that. Yeah. Play it, say go. 
Um, yeah. I mean, I guess they're going to have this engineered, but maybe we draw... Or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We're getting to the point of the game where we don't have a choice. Yeah. We can have, like, draw another hammer. Oh, we can't cast the hammer at instant speed if they... Sure. What? The, what? Old, the old maze mine tome. Oh, yeah. The old book. One, yeah, you got it. Or, Not happy, but you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I regret to inform you that this is the match we lose, regardless of... <laughs> I, I Somebody cursed me at some point. <laughs> and it is... It is some, oh, some there's the ring. Baba Ganoush. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got... Right. Uh, I got cursed no. at one point in time. I, that was that so was they have push plus push plus E E, right? I guess. Yeah. Um, Look, this could be a thing. <laughs> I mean, it absolutely can. Yeah. Uh, it it one, could two, be three, the four, thing that gets five, us in this game. Like, do we ever six. just like ink moth at Karn here? I think we're absolutely ink moth at Karn. Yeah. And oh. yeah. Like I guess they Not could be the doing, push. Yeah, but... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it oh could be... God, no. Blood. You know what? It, it might be that... Um, oh. I, oh. I, I, Hammer it. Hammer it. Right? Yeah, but if we... But then they just... Yeah. Um, I mean, we we kind of I mean, do we not just want to make them do this anyways, especially with the second yeah. cigar to in our hand? So I think, we, I think we have to, yeah. Yeah, and we have Forge new. Well, it blows up hammer. Never mind. <laughs> but, we, uh, but we but Forge new gets it back. <laughs> wait, yeah, well. And now they have to pop it. Oh my God, no way! What? No shot! What? Why did they, they not, not believe that worked? That's crazy. Why wouldn't they? Why would they not do that? Are they like not? Maybe they don't care about the card and they want to use the two mana to draw here. I, I guess, that's wild to me. They might just have another card, right? If they have another card, okay. Yeah. All right. Whatever. I'm just passing. Yeah, exactly, Gray. It's like I'll, I'll take that. And so what I like a point that I like half mentioned before. I love that Forge New works with Ink Moth, where you yes. get to you get to continuously do that like that doesn't come up a lot but you know that's the thing with cigar is you're like i get this one shot with it but then it falls off and mm -hmm. oh yeah. hmm. i mean we knew about that right yeah yeah, but, with this thing yeah 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 i'm i'm wondering if that played a factor into what the i, I don't know the ring makes you arrogant yeah <laughs> right land and then we just cast two of these all right am i just shocking it and casting one Absolutely. Like, we didn't come here to not play four fours. Yeah. <laughs> and they say it couldn't be done. <laughs> Ooh, I like the token. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, equip. I should have equipped. Eh. I missed to that. To be fair, they can E. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if they if they just like slam Karn or something, yeah, I, should, I definitely should have equipped. Good. Don't don't just play a Karn and then make me feel bad. They're probably playing yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. maybe. Uh, I'll take a Cauldra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard cast Cauldron would be pretty good. Yeah, Solitudes is going to be a three-two ambush viper. It. March maybe. Sure. You know what? They're thinking. I can't believe this is still a game. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't think we're necessarily favored, but uh, you know mm -hmm. we're here. We've got like a. It might be a two turn. It's a two turn clock. Yeah. We basically cast one of my favorite cards of all time and treat the angel, so. Exactly. I'm feeling, I'm I feeling think that, good. is that less expensive than hard casting and treat the angels? It might be. Uh, <laughs> tr well, to get one angel with hard cast and treat is five, right? Because it's triple white XX, so I mean, they had damn nation. First of all, boo. <laughs> Absolutely rude. Actually, it's the same amount then. Yeah, seven is. Second of all. If they don't have a removal spell, or we draw a hammer, and they have, like, Defile as a removal spell, they're dead. Yeah. What if we... Do, do it. Do that. Do that. <laughs> just... Wait, wait. Just cast yes. it again? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> it's our window to kill! Them. Yeah, but they definitely have the removal spell, it, right? They absolutely have a removal spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, not even okay, close. Okay. And put a hammer on them. Oh. 
No. That's not great. Disaster uh, has struck. <laughs> so, Disaster <laughs> has struck. <laughs> Um, oh no! <laughs> I, okay, That's here's fun. here's the thing: they don't play any creatures, <laughs> so I can play solitude and equip yeah. it. Um, <laughs> that is a brutal bunt. Yeah, uh, we probably solitude and equip. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh, that was my bad. Uh, I'm gonna cast. Oh, yep. <sighs> okay, we got another one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look on the bright side here. <laughs> yeah, we got dreams. Yeah. Oh my god. So uh that one feels a little bad. I think that's a, um, yeah, that one feels pretty bad. That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> First time that one's come out. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never cast the card until just now, so I didn't even think about there being the option of clicking the wrong thing. The turn we did it before we had to shock in the other one. So there wasn't the option to play it. Didn't have a land drop. There wasn't a land drop. Oh no, now they have plenty of mana. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! All right. well, this is a lot of magic cards. It's not, it's not great. <laughs> no. Nah. I'm comfortable okay. picking up cards at yeah, this yeah, we point. we can absolutely move on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I mean... <laughs> I would have conceded when I played the land. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay. I, I like Surges. So it's a black deck, and Surge stops black cards. <laughs> it does. <laughs> uh, needle so, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, lost to is legend. this a legend? Yeah, yeah we get to Tag deal with corn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if they like tap out, we can tag their EE. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you like anything else? I don't really like Mana Tithe against Probably the not. deck that makes yeah. 400,000 mana. Uh, dude, I, I don't even it? know. Like, well, it's probably dog water. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, do you want to cut it? Like, I kind of feel like I we like, have to get under them, though, and get them dead, right? I like trimming some Thopters. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, like... We're trying to set up a fast kill with a surge to protect it. Sounds right. Is the game plan here. So I kind of don't want to mess too much with, like, mana accessibility they, early on. Do they actually play discard spells? I don't, I, I don't think they do. Right? The, there is no, like, straightforward list. I've seen so much variation okay. in these lists. So maybe we just do, like, two surges, not three in. Fine with that. Okay. And then we can probably trim... Like I'm almost well, no, it's probably fine. I'm almost I think wondering. We trim if this one, is too or, slow. one more ornithopter. Okay. Because keep in mind, they also, I'm sure, play like ensnaring bridge. Right, right. I do want to have an answer to that, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I think this is fine. Yeah. I think it's just hard for the ornithopters to like reliably go for it when we know they have like a million spot removal spells. Oh yeah. yeah. Keeping this. We get to go Sentinel on one into Saga, play Hammer, hold up Surge. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, it won't break the curse, but, you know, it will uh, It'll at least you put gotta, on an attempt. You got, a, you got a vision board this shit. I know, I know. I got. That's what I need to do. I need to make my whole vision board only me beating this deck. <laughs> gotta beat coffers. I will, I will use my whole vision board space to beating coffers. Are they just going to slam into this vent? No, no, straw. Of course they are. All right, sure. A card. No. Right. Honestly, whatever. <laughs> hey, okay. All right, Evan. We get this card has two modes. <laughs> this card has two modes. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to Saga Springleaf Hammer. Yep. They can't uh, feel the ruin us yet. Right. Say go. Yeah. And now we get to hold up the surge when we make a construct. Love that. Oh, yeah. M maybe we can trim a land in this matchup, honestly. We probably can. Yeah. Oh, my God. So my dream is that they... They go for field and we make a dude and surge it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just sinkhole them. Yep. I guess it would be a time walk. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this happens. I'm going to shock it in a Marius call. Don't shock here. We bolt. 
Ah, yes. We both are so Correct, sick. correct. I was like, don't shock. I'm not I'm not playing this untapped. Right. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Yeah, we I mean that is definitely the dream here. They go for the they go for the field and instead strip mine oh my themselves. God. My god, don't field us. Don't do it. <laughs> Please, Please no. <laughs> no. Just an innocent little boy. <laughs> and then we're really just looking for a way uh, to get think... hammered. Oh, please, dude. Just do it. So we were actually supposed to make a construct. Before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We still just do it now, Still have right? to do it. We still have to do it, yeah. yeah. Damn. We fucked yeah, up there. Really bad. We fucked up there. I done, didn't even think about that. We done goofed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Not we we, we, we got what we wished bro. for, but we uh, we goofed it a little. So now they get their plan is probably push, which we surge in response. Okay. Okay. Cool. No. Okay. 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 That's a nice draw. I like that. Yeah. That's a really nice draw. I mean, that's just grabbing Cauldra, hold up surge, yeah? 1,000%. I'm tempted to throw the hammer in, too, but yeah. I don't want to get into explosives that hard. Right, right. Yeah, I think yeah, we need to start by that. attacking for three. Yeah. Are we are we bolting in the Amarius call here to like give us maybe the option to loss to legend? Um, actually, that is probably correct. Yeah, I agree. Oh wait, we can do it anyways. Happen. We can do it. Oh well, we get the loss to legend plus search. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Would tap probably one of the untapped lands or one of the non basics. Oh, sure. I think it matters, yeah, but yeah, who cares? Yeah. The ones they can interact with, I guess. <laughs> Goofing is the price of using the just the little boy boys. You're like absolutely correct. <laughs> we got uh, we got justly savaged there. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, we back, DM'd okay. too hard. Yeah, we DM'd ourselves. Yeah. We we done played ourselves, <laughs> a <AA> round. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe they're like, I can defile the Cauldra, and I'm like, right. absolutely not. Actually. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Surge. I'm going to surge here. I'm going to surge off tapping it, I guess. Yeah. Um, no reason not to. Yeah, that way if they like have a push or something in response, then we still have this. Ooh, love this. That just happens. Okay. Liking, I'm liking how this game's shaping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many counters does the Maze Mind Tome need on it? I think, I think this is the last one. Yeah, four or more or so. If they put the the next one in, can lost to legend it in response. Well, I mean, it just gains them four life on the last oh, yeah. one. Well, I'll have to figure out if that matters. 21. We don't need to do it now anyway. So, also take four Janu for five hundred, Alex. <laughs> it's paladin, right? Same I mean, I, uh, uh, oh, okay, sure. sure. Do yeah. we do? I don't, I don't think this? so. I think we just like. I don't think we care that much if they blow up a hammer and a drum. Yeah, the only thing I'm thinking about is that we have this other hammer in hand, so it opens up Forge, Paladin, and Sigarda's Aid as, like, sick draws. Yeah, but even if they pop it, the Forge is great, right? If they pop it, the Forge is Because then there's a hammer in the yard. Right, right, right. It just means we don't get to hit him this turn with a hammer. I think we still could, right? Because we can Lost to Legend at first. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have the mana to do both. Cool. Yeah, right. sure. Okay. We did draw a paladin. Okay, so I think we just lead with... Uh, so, so I think we lead with paladin here. Lead with paladin, equip the hammer to the construct, we pop the EE, and then we play another hammer. Or we float mana with the paladin. Play the well, because they're not going to pop until in, the in combat, right? Probably, Who knows man. Yeah, but either yeah. way, I think we're we're getting this paladin okay. down first because it draws cards. Okay, okay, okay. So paladin, I hate when they play an herbivore. Uh, paladin. Oh yeah, it's the worst. That's that's the real BM. Right. Uh, um, and activate stone forge with the two lands. Get cauldron in play. Then we can tap the cauldra germ. Um. To add the mana. Yeah, this is sick. We're probably putting the cauldra on the paladin here. Ooh. I think first things first is we actually put the hammer on the construct. Yeah. Now cauldra on paladin. 
but after ta- but tapping it first. Well, cause yes, are we are we just casting this to draw a card into this, or are we just having this? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I so... like getting the cauldron on the paladin anyway, and it's two more damage. So I like floating them. Eh. So it doesn't matter, right? Floating doesn't do anything if we're not playing the thing. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, just, so just move it over. Just send in. Cool. No, we'll play that saga. Sure. Nine, yeah. The lowly nine damage. Yeah. And we're covered against the damnation as well, which is pretty sweet. And I think we play the hammer to draw a card. Oh, we do there? Oh, sorry. I didn't even think we were yeah, at that yeah. point. Good. Yeah, because we go hammer, draw a card, and immediately put it on like the stone forge or the construct to keep it around. Okay, okay, yeah. So like this, it's not like uh, the saga being held up represents anything either. Mm-hmm. So. I was just sandbagging the hammer in case we draw like I don't know. They answer this board state, and and now we have like some more action, I guess. Uh, well, we have <laughs> lost the legend. <laughs> we do have lost the legend, which is nice. Yeah, um, we get to like lost the legend and activate saga, I guess. Uh, like. Uh, my question is: Are we lost the legending right now? I think so. So they don't get the draw too. <laughs> I don't think we do because they don't have a way to generate a lot of mana. So if they like have Karn, I'd rather tag that, right? Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I think we can just go play drum. Hammer draw a card. Well, if we hammer, we can't lost plus activate Saga. Do not. We go hammer. Oh yeah. Um. We just play drum to pump the construct. That's what I'm probably. thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's probably fine. And also grab Needle and name the one ring. Yeah. yeah. True. Just leave this. Leave okay. this right so where So we're, we're going to give him the option to potentially um, so we, just say go. I think if it's that important that we lost Legend on their turn, I kind of like going Hammer, put it on, like, the Construct, draw a card, and that way if they have, like, Defile... Still in really good shape. I mean, I guess we're in shape either way. I just like drawing cards. Man. Okay, yeah, let's throw the. Uh, I think you're right. I think I think we're gonna just draw it, and then we get the like equip under. We can do that too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Put that there for sure. I think. Here. I think we play the sentinel and put the hammer on the sentinel. It's a guarantee we draw a card. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um. Attack I kind of. I kind of want to use the drum to do it. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree with you. This one. Yeah. Okay could also put the cauldron on the sentinel <laughs> we could well it makes it indestructible yeah yeah and huge to get around defile i mean they're only going to be able to get five swamps anyway, i mean anyways, i mean so. they can't defile the yeah they the can't sentinel. um i think we can just let this go i, I think, think just... i think leaving the paladin as the indestructible one's probably fine I think so because we can always just like move the hammer again right, right. If they damnation right we can also lost the legend if the first thing they do is draw with the ring because then they just draw one card. But I think it's pretty close. I think we let we let this happen. Unfortunately, I think we do. I think we do. That's a spell. We have the cabal coffers. All right, Arn, Arn. It do be looking like Karn. Oh, we can tuck our own card with lost the legend. <laughs> but no it tucks it so deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like it's it's like not. I guess like you could do it if you're getting ee'd. You can like tuck your own thing to save yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's just like saga pops brings it back out. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. If you have a saga it's about to things. happen, it could. And it's like maybe your last hammer or something like that, or your or your shadow spear or something. Or you're against Mill and you need to put another card. Yeah. In. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Now that's thinking with legends. So having seen it, was your analysis of the ring overhyped or just plain bad? Well, I'm seeing it in a bad deck, so it's hard to tell. Um, and it still beat the shit out of us last game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, like, I mean, it's probably, it's probably really good. Like, if you think about it, it is four colorless mana, almost time walk. Your opponent still gets their turn, but they can't interact directly with you and draw three cards at its base. Like, it, 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 it oh, you know, right there, you draw one, then you draw two. That's insane. I mean, most, of the, most of the time, it's draw six, take three. Exactly. Right, right, right. And, and ultimately, it's probably going to be drawing more. But if I'm looking at just within that kind of like time warp turn looking, you know, it, that it, it, yeah, it's, it's definitely good. Card is 
bananas. B A N A N A S. Do you go for an engineered okay. on one? Sure. Got it. Okay. Actually, that good, but I like it. And I think we do tuck the. Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I, think, I think we're just. I think we're just tucking the E E though, right? Are so they, they just dead in, if we get rid of her though? To keep mind, they have uh, the ring in play. Yeah, but they can activate it to draw to gain six life in response. What do you mean? Uh, you're saying I, no, no, I no. Like we, we just lost to legend her. So if we lost legend her, they pop the the E E during attacks. They yeah. take seven, eight. They nine, take like a billion. And plus we have this t- token. Oh yeah, we can we can just go get a needle on E. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can get a needle. Uh, and we, like I get to make a token here. We get to do this on our I think turn. We just yeah, we just make a token and yeah, and go from there. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> so, uh, Quixotic, uh, I will say the person who played it in Burn, he intentionally memed and he has acknowledged it was not good. Um, <laughs> oh. oh, they're dead, dude. Oh, um, yeah. I'm going to float this. So, no, I think we do nothing, right? Oh, right. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Oh, that you no, no, do. because they, they can't address the construct with it anyway. So, yeah, just make a dude. So, make a dude? Yeah. <laughs> The, oh yeah, you're right. You're right because it's not on zero. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I I do definitely next level myself like that. And I was like, oh yeah. no. Right. They're just are they just letting this happen? Okay, they're dead. Yeah. Um. Still on EE. <laughs> yeah. Needle. Engineered explosives. Do we even need to kill? No. Okay. No, no, <laughs> no, now now they're just dead. To like <laughs> any of our right. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting hopeful. We're up a game. Maybe the spirit board or vision board, whatever it's called, is working. <laughs> I, think, I think we cut the ornithopter for the fourth surge. Okay. That's right. I mean, really they're good. so yeah. dense with black removal spells. Yeah. yeah, card's real good. Yeah. I think we want to be maxed out on it. Especially on the draw, right? Mm-hmm, it's like, mm-hmm. we're probably not getting under them. Dude. Oko did get banned because Oko is better than the one ring. Yeah, <laughs> people like, were t- people were talking about that on my Discord today, and, and they're like, "You know what? You know what answers the ring pretty well." Oko. Oko. And I'm like, "Yeah, I you will- know what? I bet Oko." <laughs> and I I loved playing with Oko in the blue green Pioneer Stompy deck, yeah. and it made me sad when they banned it because anytime people saw my username, they're like, "Oh, that's so cool." Yeah. <laughs> I um I was having a lot of fun with Oko in Modern. I was oh, playing yeah. this ridiculous Bant. Blue white, it was like blue white control, but it wasn't really because it was banned and had Oko and Primeval Titan that would go get Field of the Dead, and it was sick. <laughs> it was Uro Oko Prime Time Field of the Dead. It was awesome. Okay. Um, what do we think it's about this hand? Wildly easy peasy. I'm calling. Yeah. Yeah. That good. <laughs> Have an equipper, a protection spell, an answer to a Karn or a bridge. Yeah, and a body. Like, okay. I'm snapping this off every time. Okay. Leading on the, the giver. I think the aid. Actually, yeah, maybe you don't go giver. Uh, it depends on what we draw. Yeah. But holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, it just the giver now? <laughs> That's interesting. I don't I don't think it is. I think We play aid. a little bit slower, play aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, if we draw, like, an ink moth, it's also just bananas, right? Yeah, yep. I won't lie. This lost the legend. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Bad. Sure. Okay. Sure. Because ideally. Oh man. Okay. So I think. <laughs> I think we are playing. Just saga sentinel hammer it. We probably do. You think? You just, I mean, against the deck that has all the fatal pushes? It's either Saga, Sentinel, Hammer, or it's... We could go uh, Planes, Giver, Sentinel. That's what I was kind of thinking. If they have EE, it's a really bad blowout. Yeah. But if they don't have EE, then we're in great shape, and I think that's a fine spot to be. Yeah. So, yeah. Jam the things. Yeah. I guess we draw a card, too. So. Yeah, yeah. If they have it, we get to draw a card. It does, you know, makes our Saga slower, but... I think it sets up for like, I don't know. I think nasty based spot. on how this hand is like playing out and how we want to cadence it, I also think that waiting on the saga is correct. 
because mm. we don't want to. Uh, it, we want to be able to use all of our mana. Okay, sure. I don't actually have targets for that right now. You have funny. it. All right. Yeah. Well, Ooh, that's there a we good go. one. Let's go. And that's just we're just going Saga Stoneforge get Cauldra Surge up. Yep. You nailed it. Yeah. I think we do. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like the play anyway. Um, it loses to exactly that, but you can't beat everything, and that's fine. Yeah. I think we might have gotten game one, honestly, if we had cast the angels. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not proud yeah. of that moment, all right? <laughs> hey, Aslan, how you doing? Thank you for the feedback. If they do field here, we're definitely just surging, I think. You think? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. They, play they don't play a land, then we're if they play, yeah, yeah. Sure. If they don't play a land first, for sure. If they do, we have to think about it because of push. Which even then, I don't know. Maybe we do just do it. Oh, oh wow, their man is really that is bad. a very deliberate one. Oh, oh, uh, all, right. oh. all right. Well, can't, I can't surge that, and <laughs> nope, cannot be surged. I think I, that was like fine. Yeah, they had to it. strip mine themselves to do that. No. And now we get to make a construct oh. and surge. Oh. <laughs> so, problem is... It doesn't I allow mean, us to have surge up, but we do it, no. right? I mean, because... I, well, I don't think we do. I think we just go... Please, make the construct make to be construct. able to surge this, killing it. Because we have hammer uh. aid, we can just do that later. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we just have it all like, in our hand, sure. We can just, we can just like needle an EE, a oh, corn, yeah. or the one ring. Yeah, right? yeah, like, there's, yeah. Needle, there's plenty sure. to name. Yeah. I actually have considered just putting a needle in the main. <laughs> Dude, I have too. I, I, I keep thinking that that is just worth doing. There are enough things main deck. Like, obviously the main target is just like, oh, wow, they don't have a land here? <laughs> Make it, dude. And the big thing is, this like, is I wouldn't pre-one ring, but now that everyone's like, I'm going to jam the one ring, it's like, all right, I kind of like this. Yeah. Okay. Are you not going to do it? You're not going to uh, do it? Okay. Okay, yeah. This is fine. Ooh. All right, time okay. to make a dude. Yes, make a dude here. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And we get to surge right now. Yep. Wait, 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 no. wait, hold up. What? I don't did. think we actually needed to because we still get the fetch. But, I mean, sinkholing them is I actually mean, insane. I yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that it just stone rains them. That's the only reason I yeah. wanted to do it. <laughs> I don't even care about that. Yeah, it was literally just to do that. And I think we are getting... A needle and naming um, EE, right? EE, yeah. Because I don't I know. I mean, they're on two lands. Yeah. yeah. All right. And crunch for. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, with them on two lands, I feel like this puts yeah. us in a nice spot. This is nice. Yeah. We have this backup plan. <laughs> they have you know, the backup plan. <laughs> they well, they can't don't even use have this. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sure. Okay. Solves. Well, I guess if they just kill both of these, it's a little annoying. Super annoying, but... Invoked... Oh, they're marching this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. I mean, they have one card in hand. If we just rip a dude... That's not a dude. It's not a dude. Confirmed. Not a dude. Um, kind of like just going... Tap to Maria's call. Forge. The guard is aid pass. Oh, aid. Okay. Yeah, and aid... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Play. No. <laughs> Aid. <laughs> I'm going to be very deliberate with how <laughs> that card is handled. Okay. Any dude. I mean, they're missing lands. I'm fine with that. Any dude. That's a great dude. That's a dude. That is a uh, super yeah. solid dude. And, yeah, go get a hammer. Yep. So you just pass turn. We've got Lost a Legend up, which feels kind of sick. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Do you... Uh, hold up, hold Wait, up. Wait, can we tuck it in response to them acting? Yes, and they draw nothing, yeah. which I like. Yeah. Yeah. Right, tuck. That's and so good. Draw Dude, nothing. That's good for us. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm and now we just get going. to like get Cauldra in play. Oh, and put it and on the Sentinel. For Sentinel, Yeah. So, yeah. play Sentinel. Sentinel. Yeah, play Sentinel, activate the Stoneforge, put it on the 
And on the cauldro, yeah. And stack it. Uh, put the cigar to Zade trigger on the stack first. Targeting the sentinel. Exactly. Okay. And I think we attack to send a message. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Message sent. <laughs> All right. You just have lethal next turn. It's great. Super lethal. Yeah, they're just dead. Uh, <laughs> would you like to pay six? No? Okay, fantastic. No? Okay. Engineered explosives covered. This thing's indestructible. They're just dead. They're nowhere close to getting to defile this. They're, they're just stone dead. Wildly dead. Dude, that was a huge loss to Legend. I'm just going to jam. Yeah, this. that was bonkers. Ow. Uh, the best part is they don't know about the second hammer. Because yeah. no one plays around with the second hammer. Never. You can't. You can't. <laughs> or the third. Oh, yeah. I mean, you definitely style on him. <laughs> you definitely go get it. Oh, no. We could have played Forge anew and then done the Cauldre double strike trick. We also. could have. We could have. We could have done the trick. All I'm saying curse is. Broken. Curse broken. Curse has been broken. <laughs> finally. Finally. Dude, let's go. All right. All right. Lost a legend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That. I mean, it. It. Kind of shined there. Like, that was sick. Yeah. That was a um, real... I actually... Yeah, go ahead. Let me go get some water real quick. I was going to say. Awesome. Bathroom yeah. break. We're going to do a little Be Right Back screen, yep. and then we're going to play this fifth match. <laughs> All right. We're back. We're 4-0. This has been a sick league so far. Like... <laughs> I feel like we've just had, like, all kinds of insane moments, like, every match. This has been, an, like, awesome thing. Anytime someone tells you yeah. Hammer is a brain-dead deck, just be like... Dude! Oh. It, for real. <laughs> like, no, that... that there, there definitely is, like... And I'm guilty of that. Before I picked up Hammer, for the longest time, like, Hammer was a big deck... Um, especially in like Lurus times, I didn't. I never touched the deck. I had, there was one viewer in particular that was always like, "You should try Hammer. I think you would like it." And I'm like, "No, dude. I play control decks. There's no way I would like Hammer." I, there's this whole like thing around me hating taxes. Which <laughs> I don't really hate it as much as, you know, but whatever. There's this whole thing about me hating taxes. It was like, "No, I would never like that." And I picked it up, and I like immediately fell in love with the deck. Um, but that was the big thing. Was this deck is way harder to play than it seems on the outside. Like it's so hard. Dude, from literally from turn 1 almost every game. It's like how do I sequence this? You know? Um just every point along the way there are just so many sequencing decisions and and, and so many lines to take. This this deck it's games are usually like condensed into a smaller amount of turns but because of that like every little decision is just so impactful. Um, like, when we screw up, we get savagely punished. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, oh, we didn't make the construct main phase, so now we get blown out. Right. All right, crap. <laughs> and, like, there's, you know, you you do occasionally get those games where opponent has nothing, you're on the play, Cigar to Zade, Ornithopter, Hammer, Kill You, whatever. Like, yes, that can come up, but, like, way less than you would think. It's It's so often these, like, intricate, grindy, interesting games. A lot of people compare it to, like, Infect back in the day. Yes. And yep, absolutely. Yeah, I mean that's that's a fair comparison. It's this like, you know, you have this like staring competition and trying to, you know, maneuver around all the interaction, all that. I, it, it's the deck has so much play to it. It's super, super enjoyable to play. And that's why I've been like, okay, I you know, I've played control for ten years now. I love control still, <laughs> it's great, but I'm ready to like try to work on and get good with something else, you know? Yeah. Um, and this is totally the deck I've landed on. It's just so much fun. Yeah, I was. So when I got back into magic, I took like yeah. kind of a break during during COVID because, you know, um, Moto doesn't quite hit the beats for me. That's why I don't play challenges. Yep. I just don't enjoy it. Um, and so when I came back, I was like, oh, Hammer seems like a funny deck. What a meme. And I started playing it and I was very upset when I found out it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I signed up for. <laughs> no, I signed up to bomb. Yeah. That was it. Yep. Here we are thinking so hard on turn one. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's then, totally what it was. I, I, I had spider space on one time when I played it, and I was like, thank God I have you here because, like, <laughs> dude, I, it's way deeper than I thought. Yeah, sorry, continue. Very good. But, you know, you do finish your matches usually pretty quick, and you have time for snacks. Yeah. So, yeah, so. I'm OP. 
you know, like some you do you do get these games that can run really long. Like for example, that one, you know, we were red in the clock there, but it is different when you have two people playing and you know you're talking all your lines out. Um, but that is true. Like I, I just played in the showcase challenge and. You know, my matches were actually finishing a lot quicker than I anticipated them to, and I got to just, like, relax in between rounds, play some Final Fantasy, you know, it was like, I wasn't stressed. Now, now, (laughs) ignore everything I just said. Uh, Yeah, because sometimes you do just get the kill them on turn two hands. So my, my favorite part about this hand yeah. is we're going to play out the Ornithopter and the Aid, and if they're smart, they just kill the Thopter immediately. And then we hit him with Brew. <laughs> <for 11. laughs> yeah, this hand is completely oh. insane. If we were on the play, like, it's over. Oh, yeah, like, now, very few but... decks in the format can, can beat that on the play. Um, I will say, if they show a blue mana, we will not respect Spell Pierce. No, no way. Like, people that try to think about it too hard it's like we are not like you don't keep this hand and choose to respect your opponent at all right full and disrespect you just, <laughs> you just look them in the eye and say you don't have any yeah. <laughs> what is this don't care there it is doesn't matter <laughs> Spoiler, it doesn't matter what they're on we're playing the aid yeah interesting okay. thoughts on this opponent Thoughts on this? Honestly. And now we get to play like, another Ornithopter, right? Like because playing a second one, yeah. Yeah, like because now exactly one. like you were saying, they, they are incentivized to kill it right away. Now they can't and even do that. <laughs> if they are a, if they're like a Fury Scam deck, then so be it. Yeah. Then we just hit them for eleven. Well, yeah. yeah right, right, right. It's a casual one. Back. Double fetch. Didn't crack the fetch. I think it's Death Shadow. Huh. How do you want to approach oh, that now? This could easily be two removal spells. Paladin's so a nice I, pickup. Yeah, so I think we just go Saga, Tack. Yep. Make, I make. think we, we just single hammer. Okay. Attack with both, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I should wait to block. Whoops, sorry. It's, yeah. Luckily, they, they ain't playing Dryad Arbor. Yeah. So you're saying... This connects. You are not casting the other one. Correct. Really? But what if it's um? Hmm. Oh you know what? Just fuck it. Put kill it on him, the other right? one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Don't just we just fuck him up? Just fuck him up. Yeah, because also if we just draw a white source, they die. Yeah. Okay, so they don't have a pierce. Right. My guess is they're going to kill one of these to, and get hit. Well, but I feel like if they were going to kill one, they would have. They're killing both. Yeah. Yeah, and then exactly. If we can just play this. They, they could have a drown in the lock, right? Yeah. Drown in the lock is absolutely what it is. Cool. Okay. Sure. Right. Take. Because they couldn't ten. counter the hammer. Right, oh. right, right. Go to four. They're now dead go. to four chip shots with the ginger brute. True. It's <laughs> funny. Yeah. Two chip shots from the so, so, so Death Shadow plus Dress Down. Or almost a hundred percent. Yeah, okay. Uh Well Okay. Yeah, so I think you I think you just lead with uh how do you approach this? Aladdin here, right? They can't, yeah, they, I mean, they can't drown it, and then we get to just immediately go to put the hammer on Ornithopter. And if that resolves, then we play Ginger Brute and put one hammer on that as well. And then Dress Down doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they can Dress Down here. Yeah. Which case, okay. Um, all right. Sure. So first move a hammer here, right? Absolutely. So that, so there's not a window to do this, to like kill this in response go okay all right now we jam the cookie monster now the cookie monster now hammer on cookie monster all right send both yeah come here not to do this yeah it's nice that even if they block here like you know if they block here it's straight well i guess if it's dressed down black black it's dressed down they still 
Uh, they don't die, but yeah, yeah, they got okay. nothing. You, okay, <laughs> so, okay, okay. It's so like we we established they didn't have um, fatal push when they drown in the locked, right? A thing I noticed there was three watery graves, right? Yeah, so it could just be blue black uh, shadow. I mean garbage. Sorry. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> No, but I mean, I want yeah, all just, these. Surge is insane. Solitude, a legend, not it. Solitude is nuts against yeah. the card called Death Shadow. Right, so um, you probably just want like these six. Probably want Needle. Needle theoretically is super bad in their deck, but if you're playing blue black shadow, oh, you probably yeah. don't concern yourself with that. With right, exactly, exactly. My thoughts. Like if we're being honest. Oh um, yeah, Merc so Tide could be a thing. Could be it could be blue black Merc yeah, it's, Tide. Yeah, it's yeah. almost definitely a Demir Merc Tide. Um, so okay. No, I think okay. still no, 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 no. I'm not saying to bring it in. I, okay, I, I, okay. Just a yeah. just a discussion. Let's do the sideboarding, and then before we submit, uh, ornithopters and a drum. I assume. Uh, um, do you want to cut another them, one of these? Like, do you want the? I mantle think we here? cut the mantle. Yeah. Um. So. My, I, I'm thinking about mana tide being like worth the sideboard slot or whatever. So, it it, it you're bringing it in against Cascade. Uh. No, I'm sorry, not Cascade. Creativity. So that is, that's the premier deck you're yeah. bringing it against. And then uh, blue-white control. Okay. I appreciate you considering that a premier deck right now as a blue-white I mean, control still, player. <laughs> look, it, it fits on my 25 sideboard games. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, because like there there are people who play blue white control who are very very good and if I don't have a plan that's pretty silly of me. Yeah, you. Um, a, a, okay, so you think that you think that's enough? Like, is there not just like I mean, if it's really just those two, I don't know, just being another Orvar or something. If it's mainly creativity, um, Manatee also just like weirdly is good against like silly combo decks, right? Like Belcher, things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. You just like you And it them. is definitely a card that you could just like throw a random card in dead of, but like kind of how I mapped out the sideboard, I'm like, I think this works. Okay. Um <clears throat> I like Esper Sentinel, but I really don't love this hand. I don't love this hand either. I also I dislike just... mulliganing against them. <laughs> that's, that's literally where I'm at. Yeah. Um so but if they just start off with Thoughtseize, this hand is so bad. It's pretty bad. Um, at, like, a Saga hand is much better. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we probably we probably just throw it back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There this hand has more spells. This like hand it. has more spells. Um, <laughs> is it... Like, the drum is nice if we rip a Surge. Do you, do you keep that? I, I, I like Amarius Call just because solid, Solitude Prospects, we brought in the other Solitudes, yeah. there's more of them. It's a really good so card it's either So it's either Call or Drum, and I, I'm inclined to say... I'm also thinking drum. drum plus Paladin. It's an artifact yeah. Paladin. Yeah, throw Amarius Call back, it's fine. Okay. Just the fact that we have, like, a payoff for Drum already in our hand... Exactly. Would just be, like, a little sad, I guess, if we top deck them. Uh, just draw a Saga and be happy campers. Oh, dude. Blue black specifically usually doesn't do anything anyway. All right, yeah, deal. Yeah. I think the plan might just be to try to culture them. Really? And just because it's we super, have two, so we just like check them to have yeah. two. Exactly. And especially also, if, if we, we draw, draw hammer, so. yeah, exactly. If we draw like a you know a surge in the the intermediary too. Um, also, I want to shout out. A lot of people are like, oh, there's no harm to running fetch lands. You can thin your deck. They play drown in the lock. There's always downsides to playing fetch lands. When yeah. You yeah. Uh, you know the deck we just played against previously, very popular card in that deck, Shadow of Doubt. Just saying, Gross. Shadow of Doubt Gross. gets your fetches. <laughs> yes, it does. That uh, surge. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. No surge, right. but I don't. I don't mind a paladin. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna slam a stone yeah. forge here, though. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, look at this. We... Like, no cards in our graveyard. If they have drown, it's just not. You know. Honestly, I might play the hammer too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't hate it. Drown this one, baby. Grabbing Call Drown this first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like, I like, playing, the, I like playing the hammer here. Also, I guess if they counter it, it turns on Forge anew, so, like, that's cool, too. Right. <laughs> yeah, true. Another potential opportunity to draw a Surge next turn. Turns out Surge is just insane. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, turns out. Yeah, I was so excited about that card. Oh, God, it's so good. Are they Merc Tiding here? <laughs> oh, sh- sure. No shot. <laughs> you got it, buddy. I guess they can't It's good against beat. Saga. Yeah, that's the whole reason. Yeah. Oh, no. How and, and, and there's all these, like, Tron players right now. Dude, they're on a brew. They're 4-0 right now. They're, they're, on, a, they're on a sick one. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Um, just Stoneforge. Yeah. Get another hammer, I guess, right? Um, I mean, Shadow Spear, actually. We could, we could get the Spear. Do you like Trample? Do you want to get and play Spear? I think so. I don't. I don't believe that they have a uh, a spell pierce. I think they would have pierced the hammer. Yeah. Well, they could have drawn okay. off the spreading seeds, you know. <laughs> or, or, yes. <laughs> um, but we shall see. Hopefully, they no just shock like, there. Yeah. Okay. If they don't have the removal spell for this, that is a cauldron play. Like, there's no way they don't have a removal spell. I refuse to believe that. But they also have to have two, in a That's sense. True. Sure. Okay. A second we'll play another oh, one. Damn, play I was hoping. Oh. I wanted to play it so bad. <laughs> okay. I was hoping. I mean, easy peasy cauldron here. Oh. I don't think we show that. I think we just tap the island in the planes. Okay. I think their plan is probably block and then dress down. And in response, we probably just solitude their their shadow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this seems great. Yeah. Uh, attack you. Oh, man. Could, you know what would have been really sick if we wanted to be aggressive? Go canopy, solitude, tap mana with the sun. Yeah, solitude, yeah, yeah. And cast, <laughs> cast paladin, murder them. We could have. Oh, they're just taking it. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Should I have solituded when they decided not to block? I don't think so. I think it's okay. fine. I'm going to play this and pass. We can take basically any hit here. Yeah. They can't, because a dress down doesn't kill us, um, so we can just hold off, and we can just actually cast the Solitude if we want. Because they can't, they cannot... They uh, can't drown it. They drown that They're not they drowning that one. <laughs> Opponent is in what we call the danger zone. <laughs> no, look, they've been Exactly, drowned. Grace. You get it. If we had fetch lands, we wouldn't be able to cast Call. <laughs> and... I'm going to say we cast two calls. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Taking the turn back. I mean... I'm, I kind of like Paladin. I'm going to cast a Paladin. I'm going to play a land. Kind of love that they can't even drown a Paladin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on this? So we'll see Interacting. if it Actual factual yeah. counterspell. I think we just play second paladin. I think we do. Yeah. Like, because also, if, like, next turn we can just, all that, like, just cast solitude, right? I think they're just dead. I am fairly certain, yeah. So hammer Start on the Start with hammer Caldra, first. It's already has trample. Then shadow spear on the, I think they're conceding right now. Yeah, like, there's one, one mana. What beats a cauldron here on one mana? So, I think, so I am, I so I think we put, Shadow Spear on the Germ, and then move the Cauldra to the Paladin and attack with both. Oh, yeah, this is great. Oh, okay. Move Cauldra over to Paladin. Because if it resolves, great, dead. If it doesn't resolve, great, they're dead. Okay. Well, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Because now this is pushable and this is blockable. And then the Death Shadow gets exiled and they have nothing? It. Yeah, okay. I think it's fine. Okay. Looks like they do have that. Or they don't. And they're dead. We 5 would. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, how many games did we lose that league? Uh, I think, I think we lost one, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, we lost one game. <laughs> I think it was just one game. It was, I don't even remember what it was to. Is to the curse. Oh, of course the curse. Of course the curse. <laughs> <laughs> Which was broken. Um, all right, that was phenomenal. So, let, all right, let's let's talk about some of these cards here. Um, this card, in my opinion, totally earned its spot in the deck. Like, 
It's it's bananas. Right? It's not even a question now. Like I'm fully on. I, I like it at two. I don't think I would want to play more. No, no. It's uh, too many equippers at that point. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's I don't, like I'm never trimming these for this. Like, but it, I can see a world where you do it. Where you, where you like what you trim a it would be a paladin, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess. It never ate. Though. I don't it, think you do it, but you no, can. no. You, I guess you could. Uh, but that, this card's been like way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, do you know what I mean? All I'm saying is this was really good against <laughs> that one spot <laughs> against it, it the ring. Probably rig. won us that game. Like, I think it did. Won us the game. Yeah, like four mana. They 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 got a four mana fog basically, <laughs> which is not a good rate. No, no. <laughs> um, also, like man, getting to getting to surge the the fields that was such an like so so, so big. Good. Dude, I'm I'm in the same kind of realm here, thinking that like there is a world where we just want this card main deck, um, and it did just get. I mean, they did just get a really good argument with there being this very big activated ability that people are playing all over the format right now. Um, Stupid one ring. Concern yeah. is that most of the decks with the one ring have answers to it otherwise. To have a lot of answers. Like, okay, we played yeah. the ring or the needle. We named ring. Okay, they bounce it with Tef. They needle it or they uh, they ending it or they ley line yeah. binding it. It's just like... Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Yeah. It's probably not Also doesn't your opponent it's just something to think about you know don't forget Absolutely. that this can be a main deck card and like maybe it's maybe it's worth it Absolutely. um the, the last card that i'm still like i know you're you're all about and i i still need to like <laughs> get in my brain dude is this paradise mantle um yeah i mean i i know it goes i know i know it has some like crazy spots with with <laughs> paladin and everything i know it does but it's just like even even with Forge Anew, it gives you one extra mana now. With Forge Anew, it gives you one extra mana. You're saying because you get to, like, free. move it once for free. Yeah, that is true. That is true. You, you can cut Mantle for the third drum. I don't think it's heresy. But I will say Mantle, in matchups mm -hmm. like the Mirror, is just so much more powerful. And go over the top, at, we'll just win you the game. Like, in the Mirror, I, th I think it was, like, in the last couple couple weekends... Yeah. My opponent, I was stuck on one land, but I had, I had a drum and my opponent in the mirror, I'm able to, you know, live through their attack. And then the next turn I'm able to deploy Paladin, hard cast solitude and stabilize. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's insane. Like, Th that's also just an, an insane matchup for solitude. Just saying <laughs> another oh, complete, is. like it feels like, so there was this, there was this weird window with blue eye control um, where I think it was because of Wafo um, that there was like tech floating around. Blue White was a little more popular at the time, and some players were on Hall of Heliod's Generosity plus Shark Typhoon. And if you oh, were if you hit the mirror and your opponent's on that and you're not, or you're on that and your opponent, whoever has that, if the other one doesn't, you win the game. Solitude feels kind of similar with the yeah. mirror. Like, like it, if you have it and they don't, the card's just like it's a blowout. <laughs> like. It's also like you can't play around you cannot it's play free. around it it's free yeah you um, can't play around like, free beyond that like like the games the games with hammer either last three turns or 20 right right yeah <laughs> the mirror and so when you get to the point and you will get to the point where you start hard casting solitude you throw a hammer on that thing now you can win the the race without your shadow spear yeah true very true Ooh. Here, let's open a ring real quick. I was like, yeah. Yeah. One time, 215 play points. A shieldred. Yeah. That's not 15, bad. 15, 20 bucks? I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad at all. No ring, but you know, whatever. Right. Make a little, make a little Sick. shieldred. Um, all right. So that was, uh, well, it's hard to gauge because of when, when we started. It was like three ish hours. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, do we want to just call it on the five hour or do we want to like play more? I'm leaving it totally up to you. Where are you at? I mean, like I'm, I'm huge on just like calling it on a good note. That's what. And that's then, where I'm at. It was sick. Like that was, was a perfect league, and I'm kind of just like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and we're chilling. <laughs> um, Lovable dingo. I I will happily come back on anytime. 
dude. And, yeah, absolutely. This was this was a this was a blast, dude. Anytime you want to come and like jam so some hammer, time, just dude. tell me and like you're on. You know, um, <laughs> I, I have a, I have a handful of people that just like come on all the time. Fluffy Wolf, Spider Space. You know, you're you're right in there. Anytime you want to come and play, just let me know. Awesome. Um, yeah, this is so much fun. You want to. Uh, you want to like shout out your your YouTube channel? He's probably gonna throw this up if we can get the if we can get the footage together right after that little hiccup we yeah. had. Uh, if you want to throw a link to that, um, this has been yeah. disgruntled elk. Um, just yeah, I mean uh, Twitter. That's where I post most of my stuff. Yep. To disgruntled elk on everything. He's got a Patreon. Uh, I'm a member of it. It's a very useful Patreon. If you are playing hammer. And want up to date hammer guides, you know, sideboard guides and in, in, in interesting lists. That's a great place to get them. Awesome. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, um, I try to I try to keep it like super reasonably priced too. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Definitely recommend yeah. it if you guys are into hammer. That is a good place to uh, get hammer stuff. Um, oh, so if you yeah, oh, go, no, no, if go you ahead, have go any ahead. questions about hammer, feel free to like ping me on Twitter if it's like one quick question or whatever. Happy to do that. Um, also, anyone who has like more in depth questions, if you're on the Patreon, I'm happy to like discuss that with you. If you have like really weird play patterns or questions, or I'm like, I can't, I can never beat this deck. Um, my answer might be, luckily, that's only at your local. That deck's unplayable, except exactly against. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, before we fully call it, let's let, final thoughts on Lost to Legend. Is this worth testing? You gonna play, play with it a three. little bit? That card's awesome. Really? Okay, so you're you're uh, gonna you're gonna give this more of a more of a you know yeah. trial. Like okay. the fact that it can hard answer a Ren and Six. Like that it yeah. Really good. It was really interesting. Um, and like I know you said you were kind of low on March already. I've liked that card. I love the blowout potential with Saga. It, it, like any of those saga matchups, it's nice. I, I do see I do recognize though, it's like the necessity for the card feels like it goes a bit down when I have solitude um, yeah. where so like in blue white I really liked having access to like two copies in the sideboard but now that I have solitude I feel like I don't need it as much um, I will say also like I think lost uh, to legend yeah March is it really shined in specifically I think amulet and hammer like the the mirror I think those are the two matchups you really the March that card, right? yeah, yeah. Um, I think Lost to Legend does a similar job, but and it covers scales. a much wider scale. Scales is really big. I feel like. Oh yeah, um, that's true. I don't. I don't generally think about scales, but you're I, right. I've just been running. I don't either, but I've been running into it a lot lately. So it's like I'm oh, like yeah. forced to think about it. <laughs> um, but well, yeah, you have, you have solitude now, it, so you're good. Right. It, it's. I think it's people that that like new Ozolith has got people like picking yeah. it up more. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, this card's really interesting. It, it's doing something. You see, like, it, like I had mentioned this, we didn't talk about this on stream, but um, Reprieve is another card a lot of people keep asking about in Hammer, and my answer to that is always, I don't know, having two mana up feels awkward, which, yeah. this is kind of a similar argument, but if you think, look at the, like, spots that this was coming up, we kept being like, well, we don't even have to do it on their turn. Untap. <laughs> yeah, like... Um. The big thing that I like about this card is, so March is good against blue-white in that it answers Chalice, but that's, like, all it answers. Yeah. Lost Legend hits everything you care about in that deck. Yeah. Right? Like, it, it hits Chalice, it hits Teferi, it hits... It, it, we did mention it, it. It is a little awkward against Teferi. Um, Super awkward. Timing-wise, it's funky on it, but, you know. Uh, but it lets you... Bucket, and then if they need to fetch to get their lands in play, then it's gone. Yeah. And getting it off the field is the most important part. Right. Yeah, agreed. Because um, all of a sudden your surges are live again, which right be important. Which is which is huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely think the card's interesting. It, it, it is not one that like if I saw on its face value, I would have been like, yeah, I'm putting that in hammer. But after that leak, like it, yeah, it, it did things. It impressed me. I'm I'm definitely gonna try it. Um, especially because like, I mean, it's kind of fighting for like the mana tide spots and I love the concept of mana tide. It has yet to impress me. I'm sure it'll be more impressive if I like run into the decks more often than it is actually good against. Um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited to try other stuff. Um, cool. Oh, we got a question. Yes. Um, would I side in lost against four color without ring? Okay. Well, so they have Teferi, Omnath and it's, yeah, I'm doing it. Ren. Like, 
so a lot of times Omnath, you can blow them out with Solitude, right? Because they always go, they always go Omnath, then play their land after they draw. So with the draw trigger on the stack, you Solitude it or you lost and they lose. Yeah, totally. Or I guess like you can let them get their fetch land and then they fetch and then you lost the legend and it's gone. And they don't get the mana and then they die. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bolas right. did ask a funny question. One last question. <laughs> What was, the, what was the funny question? Could Hammer survive a Saga ban? Probably not. That's what That was my answer as well. I've, I've, I've talked about that in the past, and I've said it is it is such an all-in deck if it doesn't have Saga, and it, like, it, it becomes way less consistent, way less grindy. This deck needs Saga. I don't think Saga's in danger of getting banned, so I'm not too worried oh. about it. If I don't it is, think so either. it's nothing we can do about it anyways. I'm just, you know enjoying playing the deck i but no i i i'm in the same boat i don't think it, i don't think it could survive that ban it just like if saga were banned luris were unbanned and all the other mh2 cards got the ban i could see it <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> sure yeah because then you get the you get the grindy luris or whatever yeah um but it, it would just lose too much of that axis of the game um like you don't have a fair plan right like yeah, the fair plan is so important to the deck. I mean, I think a lot of the games we won, like we didn't even hammer. No, yeah, that in that that was one of the things that I I have noticed a lot with this deck. And in, in when we were talking about like it being a more complex deck than people often give it credit for, that's why because you actually engage in these fair games all the time. Um, uh, there was there was one match we chose to play Saga on turn three, mm -hmm. and doing that like won us the game because we we. Calculated out our mana like four turns in advance. That was the that was against the the curse deck, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Um, and kind of the fair plan. This is something I wanted to touch on because everyone tells me that Rhinos is a good matchup against Hammer. That's wrong. It's just wrong. Rhinos. Hammer has a good matchup against Rhinos. Um, I Rowan actually no. I actually <laughs> usually hear it the other way around. I actually usually hear people say that Hammer is pretty good into Rhinos. It's weird. Um, you hear it the other way. Interesting. Okay. And, I haven't played that was, match of that often. Like, I've played it. Like, so uh, I played against Brittany. She's yep. awesome. Awesome member of the community. Played yep. against her a couple times. And when we sit down, she's like, well, this is my worst matchup. Uh, <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she like, plays a lot of rhinos. Yeah, and so, she's, she's very good. Yeah. Um, so I'll take her word on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's saying that that's a, that's a bad matchup. Interesting. They like have a lot of free interaction. Out. They they do have a lot of those. I mean, they have all those pitch spells, and those are those are tricky cards for us. Yes. Um, Problem is that people always say, "Oh, there's four force of vigors in the sideboard. Hammer can't beat it." That's just like you can beat yes. that card if you're a donkey. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, right? Don't. I don't know. Play good. Yeah. Um, one other card, I, I, I know, I keep saying one more thing, one more thing. Oh, you're good. I don't uh, want to play another league, but I'm happy to, like, chat. Chat about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah so yeah. A, another big card that I, I noticed, you know, you've removed from it now, um, which, I, I mean, I, I know not everyone's high in this card, but um, Sanctifier. Sanctifier just being on full zero now. Um, I Like, I got paired into Burn the other day. Uh, it, we, we beat at the time when we had you in the chat, but I got paired against Burn again, and I just felt like, man, not having this thing that they can barely interact with i mean it just made it really tough just having this thing that on turn two i can just be like here it is and if you don't have path you're you're in trouble um are you you're just like totally totally off the card do you think or is it a meta thing or what so i i am a known sanctifier hater i know yeah yeah i do know that <laughs> so i so i say oh the card sucks it doesn't suck it obviously serves a purpose but with the advent of Surge, you simply don't need it. If you if you like okay. play tight, you don't need that card, right? So, <laughs> so it's more like a magic. it's a it's a a crutch or like a training wheels exactly. <laughs> kind of thing. It, yeah. it is, and that's yeah. fine. But like, so the matchups people loved it against were Murktide, Scam, Scam's obvious reasons, right? Yeah. And then Burn, it's good. Um, against so it, let's let's go one at a time. So against Murktide. Mm -hmm. I think it's like actively kind of bad now because they're all on like Ledger Shredder into Murktide, and yeah. then it's like, oh no. Right. Um, I do think it's a lot and, worse against Merc than it used to be. Yeah, exactly. When there was no Shredder, I think it was like very good. Yeah, I agree. It's just not. Um, and then, and Scam, obviously the card's still very good against Scam, but so often now I'm seeing like multiple EEs. Sometimes Hidetsugu consumes all. Oh, I keep running into that like, thing. 
Yeah, you're just not being that card, and that's okay. That um. that was one of the things that, like, initially, when I, I got off the blue build, I believe in that first league, I tried Mono White, and I got hit at too good, like, twice, and I was like, dude, I need Spell Pierce. <laughs> like, I can't, I need the Spell Pierce. I can't just be losing to this card all the time. But fortunately, you know, you don't run into it all that often. Yeah. Uh, but that one is uh-huh. a beating. Yeah. Uh, and, and, like, play, play Path of Peril, Edict, and it's yeah. just like, doesn't, it's not what it used to be against them. People got smart. Yeah. Um. So, I'll play it there against Burn. It's fine, but the reality is Burn, especially on like this build with Solitude and lots of basic planes, is a very good matchup. I was gonna say, how do you do? You consider that a good matchup for us? Uh, yeah. Like, okay. I think I've lost to Burn once in like the last ten or twenty times I've played it. Really? Yeah, so okay. like. You play this card, Surge of Salvation, and yeah. it's like a three for one. It is really good. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, it's it, it is insane. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I just feel like when I if I get it paired up against a burn opponent that I you know when you get that sense that it's like okay this person knows what they're doing I have found like it can be pretty tough, um, but uh, maybe that's because you know I just need more practice with the mono white build. <laughs> and I will say like Hammer, I I maintain that I think it's the hardest deck in the format to play because. There's no, like, scripted lines with it. You're constantly having to reevaluate your board state, and that's just super hard, and one of the only ways to do that is just play more games with the deck. I mean, look at that. Look at that ginger brute line against Living End. Like, that wasn't intuitive, you know? Like, there, yeah, it does feel like moment to moment. It, it's it's just so many different so many different lines you can go for. We had all those spots where it was like, man, we have Sigarda's Aid, we have Paladin, they're killing our Paladin. Are we going to cycle the hammer here, you know? We're, you know, are we giving up our equipper to draw a card? And like, you just get so many, yes. so many spots. Like, there's so many decisions for this deck. It's why it's a great deck. It, it's, it's, it really rewards high play, and it's, it, it makes you work for the wins, though. You know, it's not. I mean, sometimes don't get me wrong. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I mean, you just I mean, bonk them. <laughs> game one against Shadow. Yeah, that was so, I know. It was like that couldn't have come up at a more perfect time. We were literally just talking about that, and then it's like, oh well. I mean, <laughs> you do just do this sometimes. Yeah. Um, I, I, say, I maintain like having free wins is the mark of a deck that you want to play in modern. Yeah, de- exactly. Exactly. If your deck never gets free wins, you shouldn't be playing it, in my opinion. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Oh. That that's something I've really come to terms with with like control will always be a favorite of mine, you know, and I you know, I, I always think there's there's some merit to playing control. It's a, if you really enjoy that strategy, it's great, but you just like don't get free wins with blue white control. You know? It just it just doesn't happen. It, like, it very, very rarely happens. Um, yeah, no, I totally agree with that. This is a, um, this is a, this is a very proactive format. It really rewards you for being proactive, and yeah. Then uh, one other piece against Burn is yeah. the matchup has gotten a lot better with the last two sets because one surge is obviously just a huge blowout. Yeah. But the advent of Solitude means that Deflecting Palm doesn't do anything because you Solitude your own dude. Oh, interesting. And then you're gaining a huge pad of life yeah. on top of that. Yeah, okay. you gain 10, 20 life. And it's like, I don't care. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, and then the other piece is Forge Anew lets you just move the hammer. Oh, in, you're saying in the face of Palm? Yeah. So they like Palm and you're like, all right, what are you picking? If you, yeah, you if you have you just it, move it. two attackers. Yeah, true, true. I'm also glad we, di- we did have it kind of come up like Forge Anew... Um, I, I, I had yet to have one of those moments where Forge Anew moving in combat was relevant. That was really nice that we had the double block or three attackers. Forge Anew got to move and kill him. Oh, God. Yeah. And it was with the Paladin in play, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is... <laughs> that was really nice. There was a lot of, um, there was a lot of, like, equipment moving going on in that league. And, you know, a lot of that, you have to sequence it all in the right way to play around the right pieces of interaction. And that's one of those spots where, like, playing from the other side against Hammer, where it's just, like... Fuck yeah, they totally got me. Like the way they sequence that, I there was nothing I could do at any point. You know, um, that's a really Absolutely. that's a really big point with this deck. Um, and if you screw up your, if we screw up our sequencing at all, we lose the game. You just lose, like the whole yeah, it's over. <laughs> um, dude, Orcish Bowmass is interesting. I just see that one getting talked about a little bit here in the chat. Oh. So you said you tried it. Did I did? J- I mean, is there is there any world where you think that it it is in this deck? So I could certainly see a world where you would want to play it. It would have to be a world where I would where I didn't really want solitude. That's though, what I was gonna say. You gotta be off the that plan. It is 
I think your mana base gets too sketchy mm-hmm. if you if you're on the form areas call and the and, and the solitude to splash a color. Bowmasters is a fine card. Um, I it's good against like Teferi specifically, like so quite good against Teferi. That Rance, the person bringing up the the price on him, he's the person who's been talking to me most about Bowmasters. So my initial uh, my initial thought was like, well. I don't know, people are mainly drawing cards with expressive iteration, which isn't totally true. That's mainly Merc type. But he mentioned Teferi, and I was like, is it even good there? It is. And that, like, actually yes. talking that out, it is. Yeah, I was wrong on that. It is definitely good against Teferi. It's it's insane against Teferi, because yeah. it's like, it's going to kill the Teferi one way or another. Yeah, yeah. Um, I always forget that the, it gets that, the fact it gets that trigger on ETB, and yes. not just on the draws, is insane. It's real nice. Yeah. Um, it is comically good against Murktide when you, like, when you force their shredder to connive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> One of the few places you can make your opponent draw. <laughs> yes. Um, and so, but like, Murktide, I think, is a, a fairly good matchup. And when I'm looking at changing the deck and trying to innovate on the deck, I'm trying to answer the question of, like, what problem is this card solving that we can't already solve? And then what are we cutting to add the card? Yeah. But I don't think... The, at least the meta is not in a spot where I really want Bowmaster because I know some people like Thoughtseize. I think Thoughtseize sucks, yep. at least in Hammer, because like in Scam, you're just like ripping your opponent's hand to pieces. But in Hammer, you're like, so if I Thoughtseize uh, like a control deck or even a mid range deck <laughs> and I see Leyline Binding, Prismatic Ending to Fairy, like you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> right. Oh, like it, it obviously too. has spots where it's going to be reasonable, but but yeah, for sure. There's so much redundancy in a lot of the decks that it's good against right now, anyways. Exactly, um, which is why they could play Yorian until yeah. Wizard said they couldn't. Be, right. Because, I mean, th- <laughs> that's the thing. There was, like, this really long period where that was, like, the Hammer deck, right? Like, Black was the splash on Hammer. Oh, absolutely. Um, I loved me some Dark Confidant when it was right. good. Right, exactly. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, it, maybe, maybe Bowmasters is a card worth, like, keeping on your radar as a Hammer player, <laughs> but it, maybe it's just not the right meta for it right now. Um, There's a lot to be said for just having 10 basic lands in your deck and being super resilient against Blood Moon. Like, yeah. And and that's not to say, like, Blood Moon still has text against us, for sure. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, but, yeah, I have found that to be, like, very, very nice. Very nice. Being able to just so regularly have these, the basics we need to cast Paladin uh-huh. and whatnot under a, under a Blood Moon. All right, I'm, I'm just like, what if we brought in Lost to Legend against Scam? Brought in against Scam. So what are so, we trying to... <laughs> I'm so trying to think the, of all the, the things it can hit. Yeah. Ragavan? Uh, so it, it, can, it, can, it can tuck a Blood Moon. It can't answer a Ragavan. Um, wait, wait, wait. It can't tuck a Blood Moon. Not not a Blood Moon. Um, Sorry. A, uh, if they HCA, so if they hit it, Sugu consumes all, with Chapter 1 on the stack, you can tuck it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that is a <laughs> Which, legendary, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a Saga. It's not a legendary. It's a Saga. It's, a saga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably too narrow, it but it's cute, is. and I like to consider those things. And, I mean, there's also spots, like like we saw, there there are interesting spots with some of the, like, hate artifacts, you know, like um, like engineered explosives and whatnot that you can, like, get in Absolutely. interesting moments. Maybe. I don't know. My only concern probably with bringing not. that in against them, yeah, it's probably <laughs> not only because, like, you know, every card is so important in that matchup when they're attacking your hand really hard. True. That, like, this does pitch to solitude. <laughs> it does. It does. That is true. But it just like I feel like it's like every card's got to be an impactful one, and that one is maybe a little too a little too narrow. But yeah, I mean, it does have some. It does have some some text there. Hm. Um, pew pew. I you might be right. Doesn't matter because we're not bringing it in anyway. Um, but I didn't. Might be because it doesn't like gain the ability, so it's not like saga. Yeah, maybe I'm just wrong. Oh, maybe uh, it still just happens. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We got got Urza Saga on the brain. Um, so uh Sekli, I think that's how I say it. Um I will not be adding Sanctifier in Vec to my deck probably ever again. Keeping in um, mind he is a little biased against Sanctifier. <laughs> like we, to we, like <laughs> uh, to be fair. <laughs> if um if someone makes a good case yeah. for like why it needs to go in the deck, what matchups we need it for, I'll absolutely play it. But the matchups that people say you need it against, like Scam you just specifically, I think is the closest one. You're like, it's fine. We can just beat it anyway. Just yeah. surge them to death now. Um, also, people were like, oh, we need we need Sanctifier for Dredge. And I'm like, Dredge is a, like almost a buy. <laughs> yeah, Dredge is yeah. like... A, <laughs> Who the fuck's playing like, Dredge? <laughs> <laughs> like, 
even if they like hammer is the reason dredge is not playable <laughs> like, i think there's so a lot bad. of reasons that hammer's not, or that dredge isn't playable <laughs> Like, oh, you gotta beat Dredge. I'm like, no, you just make a 20 power life linking. Yeah, and they never beat that. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, yeah, you don't need it for that. Uh, you're 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 happy with Orvar being a being a creativity hate piece. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I've always been I've always been really low on it, but I I think, especially in the mono white build, I think it's just like, it's just where we're at. Just play I do like I do like Lost to Legend quite a bit against creativity. I think because it can tuck the. Um, like they're Teferi's. The, the Fable. And if, <laughs> I mean, really the fable. It, that's like kind of awkward though, because like I don't know, they still get the two two goblin. That's like a little annoying. Yeah. That that like it, if you're if you're tucking that and they're getting the goblin, they're still getting a ton of mana and I don't know. Yeah. I don't but know. tucking the Ren is really good. You can you know what you can tuck? You you have kind of the March trick where you can tuck a treasure that is getting targeted. Yes, you can. <laughs> that is getting targeted with the creativity, technically. But it is also a Teferi matchup. It's a Ren matchup, so... If... You want question it, I think right? is, if I, lo- if I couldn't play Lost to Legend, would I play March or Sanctifier? I'd probably play Mana Tithe. Oh, yeah, cause I was going to say, so he, he had just, you know, he just top-aided... Uh, it was an energy event, right? Yeah, it was a 10k. Yeah, he had just top-aided it in energy 10k, and the list was basically exactly this, except these two loss, these two losses were just two more Mana Tithe. Um, you hate Sanctifier. Manitide I hate Manatide. Okay, I mean, personally, I still okay. think March is uh, is all right. I would probably play March over Sanctifier, but um, which is fine. Yeah, Mar- like it, it's just it's a super reasonable card. Um, I yeah. I just care more about removing things like Teferi and Ren than I do about like killing a Saga or something like that, and that's kind of the, the breaker, right? Yeah, if you ever get to Manatide the Teferi, dude, oh my god. Oh, it's it's a savage beating. Like, that is just insane, yeah. It's disgusting. On the flip side, it feels super bad to have mana in your hand if it's a very is resolving, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Still. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't feel as bad to have a loss to Legend in your hand. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sold on the card. It might be... It might be legit. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. I'll try it more, but it... It turned up real good for us. Yeah, I think it's still. I, I think it it needs some more testing. I'm not like fully on board with it like I was with Forge right away. But like it oh, did yeah. look good in that league. Like there were definitely some spots where it looked really impressive. Forge is bonkers. Like yeah, Forge is so good. <laughs> I'm so glad that it is too. Like I was really on the fence about it, but it did look like a really interesting tool for Hammer, and it has really like panned out to be a sick tool in Hammer. Um, it's just this That's... weird. It's filling this weird space between Paladin and Sigarda's aid. That I love that it does that it's really close to both of them, but does something different. Like it does actually introduce something different, um, which and is in I, combat moving, which is very cool. I like it because it's an equipper that works well with the other equippers. Mm, yeah, Paladin and Aid are very good, but they're like very separate, right? They don't complement each other very well. Mm-hmm. Like, Forgenu complements both insanely well. Yeah, yeah. And God, like I said earlier, the, the being able to just, like, confidently be like, go ahead, counter my hammer. <laughs> like, like, it's so sick. It's like I'm just going to resolve getting the hammer back and also the equipper in one card. That's so sick. It's it's nuts. Um, yeah. Card's really good. Um, and it's actually the other reason that I went up to 23 lands, because... want to just cast my spells. And then, yeah. of course, sometimes we're pitching a Marius call. And sometimes we're... Casting two Amarius calls in the same game. And sometimes we're trying to and accidentally playing Amarius call. <laughs> I will say, I have literally done that. So yeah. <laughs> no, no judgment here, man. It's the, the biggest throw off, I swear it wouldn't have happened if the turn before we hadn't also cast an Amarius call. But because <laughs> it was so automatic the turn before, because the land drop already happened, that's totally what tripped me up. Um, yeah. yeah man, it's not manitizing anything gives your brain the happy chemicals like that is true yeah it's just such a it got them like you, i feel like if i'm in paper i wouldn't be able to stop myself from the bm going got them like every time you know <laughs> <laughs> i think like I, I just like and when my because i played against belcher and they they just went like and want or they, you know they played turn did they ritual it out <laughs> uh, they they used str- the strike it rich treasure to cast oh. So I was like, I was like, man, it, I was like, nope. That's <laughs> something like, I, I've been trying to figure out was um, Strike It Rich is popping up in creativity sideboards now. Yeah. And 
I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think it's to help beat Blood Moon, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe. Sure. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm not. We probably don't have to worry about it. I don't think it has to do with Hammer. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, is it a speed thing? Do we need to be worried about that? Yeah, you're right. I mean, that probably doesn't have anything to do with this. I think it's, I mean, it makes them a turn faster sometimes, right? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll wrap it up there. One more time, if you want to, uh, you want to shout out your, where they can find you. Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, basically on everything, I'm Disgruntled Elk. Uh, either disgruntled underscore elk or just disgruntled elk one word um, you can find me on twitter youtube i took kind of a break from uploading videos just because i was doing like rc prep and pioneer makes me want to gouge out my eyes but here Ugh. we are um <laughs> and then um also i have a patreon where i update the deck list at least monthly with sideboard guide comments where you can ask me any questions um for as low as i think like four bucks a month but yeah um that's, that's what i do fantastic uh that's that's a stream you guys all have a great rest of your evenings and uh i'll see you this weekend have a good night good night y'all thanks for having me absolutely <laughs>